It's us! Hey! Hello! Hello, everyone! It's John and Ash. Yeah. We're the, finally here together. In the same place, yeah. You know what? Um, actually, no. I was, gonna, I was gonna show them us, but I can't do that right now, because there's no camera plugged in. You know what? I can quickly plug in a camera, so they can see us Let's in person. Alright, one Let's second. One second. Well, you can't go without your beautiful face, at least. Mine, oh. you know, could go back and forth, but Wait, yours. You got a delightful face. <laughs> Did you hear that, everybody? My face is delightful, he says. Delightful. I'll take it. Um, there it is. There it is. Ah, nice. This is organized as ever. Good call on the uh, mysterious Murasame Castle medley, though. That's a Heck yeah. that's a banger. One of the greats. Hell yeah. Let's put this little baby on. All right. We exist in one place. <laughs> oh, we won that one. There we go. Hey, look, it's me, hey. and Ash is there too. <laughs> Let me just get us in widescreen. We want to be in 12. That one. Hey, it's us. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Almost. So, there we go. There we go. Hell yeah. All we right. exist. Hi, everyone. Hey. And we can exist with Smash. Oh, we're going to do the impossible. We're going to play Smash offline and then maybe online with some of you yeah we're gonna smash with each other and then we're also gonna smash with all of you out there. gonna smash our community yeah. yeah so i hope you're looking forward to that <laughs> <laughs> uh, so far we've shot a video we, we did a tier list of uk sweets so um ash and i sampled a bunch of candy right and we uh, ranked them so that'd be a nice surprise for you to see which one which are your favorite uk chocolates yeah rank. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. They, there was there was a little crossover. There was uh, some candy that also exists in the U.S. Right. That uh, we compared the U.S. and U.K. versions to, at least my memories of the U.S. versions to the U.K. versions. Uh huh. But uh, no, that was a lot of fun, and uh, we figured we had to do a stream while we were here. And, of course. You know, I think you and I are the biggest Smash fans on the crew. I'll right? say well, no, so. Well, no, Daniel. Sorry, and Brandon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess no. yeah, they all love Smash to some extent. Derek has his own little history yeah. with it. Click fake title. No, no, no. There's gonna be a lot of smashing in here. <laughs> no way. You'll not see. You'll see. Title. No way. But no, I think I think the four of us are really into Smash. De Derek is kind of in the middle, and then Steve's like, I, yeah. I don't think I'm very good at Smash. I'm not into it. But uh, yeah. Well, whenever I play Smash, it's usually online, so I'm not used to no latency. So this right. is gonna okay, be, uh, be great. It's gonna be different for me. Uh, let's see. Our items off. Oh, Master of Hyrule says, uh, she says, wanted my dad to send in a clip. Oh. Uh, I did not hear about that. Not sure if I wanted to help him out. I'd be happy to help him out. I didn't know that. And yes, everybody, I am across the pond. I am, in fact, here. Uh, if you remember, one of our previous uh, TNT guests, Aaron Cooper, uh, he's like my best friend, and uh, I am here as his best man. Uh, we took him for his stag party, and uh, his, his wedding's in October, but I'm here now to take him on a stag party to Dublin, and I just got back from Dublin, and now we're here. Yeah. Yeah, so Ash, uh, he thought, you know, while he's here, he may as well come and see John, because, you know, you can't come all the way to the UK and not see John. I know. Should we start off with some randoms? And yeah, let's, let's do some randoms. Chaos? All right. A little bit of warming up. <laughs> all right. And this is the smashing that you've been wanting to see. This let's is what you clicked it. on for. Oh, I got Olimar? Ugh. Oh, I'm not great as Breath of the Wild Link, up to be honest. Okay, fair enough. We'll see how this goes. Not a fan of... Uh... I mean, I know he's really good in this game. I'm just not very good with him. In previous Smash games, I loved Link. He's one of my, one of my mains, yeah. but in Ultimate, not so much. I'm not... Yeah, I'm not a big fan of... Uh... Adult Link in, in uh, Ultimate. I agree. But uh, Young Links, I fear them. Online, I'm oh, so scared too. of all Young Link yeah. players. Oh, God. Ooh. Will he do it? Oh! Oh, wait, what? Oh, I didn't get the grab? Wow. Do you, you, you have any Pikmin? No, I don't. <laughs> oh, more. Oh, why are you like this? Oh, Ooh. God. Oh, he's alive! I'm somehow alive. I'm living somehow. I don't know how... how does one Olimar... Is everyone in the chat playing Live Alive? I oh! hope so. It's Live Alive, right? I keep, I keep like... I, it confused. is Live Alive. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I it keep getting confused. Alive. Like, which one is it? Is it... Oh, oh no! <laughs> I just call it Live Alive, Live Alive, Live Alive, Live Alive. You're the direct guy, the pro, um, announcer man. You went, Live Alive! Right. Damn, I'm not getting a good hit here. Oh! I can barely hear that Genova theme. I'm loving it. Oh! This stage was the savior for Final Fantasy VII representation. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I mean, Sephiroth. Um, 
I love that he's in the game, but he just sort of saved Cloud from what he was in this game. Right. Because he, he, he was a shell. He wasn't really well, Cloud. Well, especially because he, you know, we had like two songs from Final Fantasy VII. Right, and they were both MIDI yeah. tracks. And this part of this stage I love so much, like yeah. with Meteor, and it looks so cool. Or the next transition, I mean. With, I'm, uh, I'm not landing any uh, powerful hits here. Well, your voice is already too powerful. That's why. You're, already, you're, you're making up for it with your incredible voice. That's my power level gr uh, goes. Yeah. Oof. Ugh. <laughs> we have a super chat. We'll check that out in just a second. Once I demolish Olimar. Oh, God. Oh, ja, ja, ja. Oh, ja. Ja. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I'm not, oh, wow. I'm not ready for this. I didn't think I was going to uh, get that hit. Well, here's, the, com it. here's the comeback. All he right. says, firing in the wrong direction. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm no good as Breath of the Wild Link. I don't blame you. I, I don't get how Breath of the Wild Link works, in, in, or Adult Link, I should say, works in this game. I'm not a fan. Oh, God. oh my! Oh, another super chat. I know. Thank you, everybody. I, I want this to be over with. I, I, want, I want different characters. I know, right? <laughs> there oh, we go. Oh, there it is. Okay. Dash attack. I won't get hit anymore. All right. There Don't worry, go. chat. There'll be no, no... no more hits. Oh, 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 no. You got hit. You're, you're supposed to not get hit. It's okay. No more deaths. Okay, no more deaths. Fair yeah, I, I can get hit as much as I want. As long as... Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just making you feel good. And that's, how, right. that's how I catch you off your guard. Oh. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Ah. Uh, I mean, what sports 160 damage anyway? What is that? Yeah, exactly. Child's play. Olimar's throw is weird. Like, <laughs> I, I can't really tell when I'm. I grabbing. don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, is that it? Yeah, there it is. I'm, I'm happy it's <laughs> over. I'm happy it's over. So let's see what, oh, what people said. I've oh, got a couple here. So we have one from. Is that uh, Fe Fisto? Uh, yeah, Fisto with $4.99. Uh, Ash, you can't go to UK without trying some amazing Indian food, if that's even your thing. Cheers. Not only is Indian food my thing, we have a bunch of amazing Indian food in LA too, but I'm going to have some tomorrow, actually, with Aaron. Oh, We're nice. We're going to get Indian food tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to it. It's Thank so you, funny Fisto. that the highlight of going to the UK is Indian food, but uh -huh. <laughs> it's so true, though. Uh, we also got one from Ian Ve Vegaman. Yeah, I am Vegaman. I love that. Oh, I am Vegaman. Oh, I am okay. Vegaman. Oh, I got it. That's okay. so good. All right, I'm slow. Uh, I have... I have world largest Smash mem mem memorabilia. Love to share. I that I'd love to see. Please what share. You, yeah, yeah. Please, please share. Let us know what you got. We've also got the Irish Jackamon with five euro. Thank you very much. Just saw you guys were live on YouTube. Cool seeing you guys together. Also, this stage is the best Final Fantasy stage. Hell yeah! It you know I do really love Midgar. I love the the summons. I think they're really cool. Sure. Uh, but Northern Cave is really awesome. It's it's hard to. It's hard to, uh, you know, argue with Northern Cave. And then uh, Santi the Person, $2, saying, You're playing lagless now. No excuses for losses. Oh, all right. Oh, Joker. Oh, 3D land. Okay, here we How go. How are you with Mewtwo? Oh, uh, okay. I feel like I'm decent with Mewtwo, at least. Not, like, amazing by any means, but... How about you and Joker? I'm okay as Joker. It's been a okay. while. So, um, whenever I get someone in Elite Smash, I generally stop playing as them, because I'm scared that I'm going to lose them in Elite Smash. Uh -huh. And Joker's one of those. So it's oh, been a okay. while since I've played as him. But I, I was pretty good. Well, Arsene's terrifying. Like, no one really wants to be... You know, when Arsene's on the field, it's just scary. Yeah. Yeah, you back away when Arsene's out. Yeah. I love that forward throw of Mewtwo's. I've always, always have. I was waiting for that Shadow Ball. <laughs> I know, I know you were. That's why I didn't fire it. Nope. <laughs> You really want me <laughs> yeah, to fire, I really don't you? Do. <laughs> you really do. Uh. Oh, oh no, <laughs> the McCarcarn. Uh. I don't know why I thought that was gonna hit. Of course it wasn't. Oh, oh nice. nice. I forgot that, that reflex actually. Oh. Uh. Ooh, nice. nice. Mewtwo's tail is something to be feared. It is. 
Speaking of Tail, like I, I don't, I, I would never complain about this game's roster ever, but Tails is one character I really wish had made it. Oh in. yeah. It always felt weird that we only got one Sonic or Sonic rep, but we got two Castlevania reps, you know. It's also a little weird that we have um, Green Hill, and then we have Windy. Is it Windy Hill? Windy Hill, yeah. Yeah. So they're, they're very similar uh, theme wise. Uh, I would love like a stage for, like Robotnik as a hazard or something. Yeah. Or, like the I, Death Egg as a stage. I know Derek always really wanted uh, Eggman as a character. That'd be cool. Oh no! Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Oh god, why did I do that? Are you ready for Persona to be on the Switch at last? I am. It's it feels like it's been so long in coming. Is it October that we're getting it? Yes, I believe, Real and soon. then next year for uh, three and four, right? Right. Yeah. Oh no! Oh nice. <laughs> Just about. I right, one on one. Ah. Oh. Yeah, you, I can tell you definitely feel better with uh, Joker than... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. This is more my style. That was too long. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Oops. Thought I had it ready. I don't know why I did Ooh! that. Why did I, do that? I, I wasn't sure if that was... I don't know why I did that. enough time. I was just like, you were just holding it out there, and I'm just like, okay... Let's just give you our scent. <laughs> Why would I do that? Oh god! Oh! Oh god! Oh. Nice. Nice. Uh. Do you like Xander Mobus as Jonathan Vo? I love Xander Mobus. Of, of course. course. You got love, master. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, the Zebga says, uh, or asks if I'm here to become uh, your prime minister. We currently don't have one. Uh, I am Vega Man says, how do I post it? Uh, how do I share oh, it? Post, post on, on Instagram. Oh, okay. okay. I am Vega Man is their Instagram. Let me, let me check yeah, it out. Yeah, try and find yeah. that, yeah. Let's see here. Is the, uh, is the camera in a good position, or should we put it somewhere else? What do you guys think? Are we obscuring anything? Let's see here. Put Final Smashes on. Oh, Roger's here! Roger says, how long are you staying, Ash? And John, are you playing hey. against Pokemon Worlds? I'm considering Pokemon Worlds. Yeah, mm. it depends if I can get someone to uh, watch my daughter, but I'd love to, totally. Look at this collection. So this is I Whoa. Am Mega Man's. Check that out. That oh, is incredible. Holy heck. Smash Champion. That is... What What a collection. That's nuts. That's awesome, Vega Man. Very cool. Also, I like that name, too. <laughs> No, Bian says Zavok is the thing ever made. Yep. Yeah. He sure is. <laughs> uh, Roger, I'll be here until Thursday. I'm leaving Thursday. I got here last Monday, a week ago. So I've been here for quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh, uh, Shin says move the camera a little bit to the, to the right. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, I guess I should probably, I'll, I'll check out our live audience chat on my phone as well. So by a little bit to the right, do we mean like this or all the way to the right? We'll, uh, we'll, uh... uh chat the side. How long are we streaming for? I don't know. This was kind of just an impromptu yeah, stream. Yeah, we, we knew we had to do something while I was here. Yeah. we and, got to request uh, the turn Smash Balls on, so I'll do that. Alright. Oh, don't want that. Should we do Smash Balls or Smash Meters? Oh. Which one? Chat. Smash Balls, Smash Meters. What do you want? Uh, that sounds like Roger's going cool. to, to Worlds. Yeah, I'd love to. Nice. I had some requests. Um, I was at the Joe Merrick wedding to uh, Marty Merrick now. Oh, uh huh. And uh, a lot of people are like you going to Worlds. I, I do want to. I've never been to Worlds before. Yeah, same. S um, uh, Final Smashes. Inbone says no Final Smashes. Leave them out. <laughs> well, we're getting a bit, a few more votes for Final Smashes. One for Meter. Right. Uh, Smash Balls. I think Smash Balls is the, the victor here. All right, let's do it. Both says David Rawlings. All right, we could do that. We, yeah, I'm down for. I mean, chaos is always a good thing, so let's um, do both. <laughs> do both, sure. <laughs> Hell yeah. Do you prefer choosing your options before the match in this one, or did you, did you like doing it like in the midst of the match, uh, or, or, or like in the selection process? I like having presets, but yeah. it is also nice to be able to to have to be able to do it in the midst as well. Yeah. So I could go either way, really. What are you feeling about stage? Do you want just a regular or like an Omega or... Let's just or do what? random. I mean, we're already doing Smash Balls and Smash Meters. Let's just embrace the chaos. Sure. Yeah. Okay. All in. Let's do it. And still, still random st uh, characters or... Sure. I'm good with that. All random. All right. Yeah, let's just do it. Embrace the chaos. We're smashing to the extreme. Uh, Can Backlin asks, uh, who are our mains? 
I have a lot of mains. Um, mm. I think uh, Hero is probably my, my biggest main right now, right, to be honest. Right, right. Yeah, you're, you're quite good with Hero. Are you still so, a Mega Man guy, I imagine? Oh, of course. Did we turn Curry on? I thought it was just Final Smashers. <laughs> Me too. I thought so too, but what apparently happens? we got Curry on now. What? Why is, it's just Curry. It, is it just Curry? What? That's so weird. What happened? Um, so I'm, I, I come main now. So Mega Man and Sora are my mains. Oh, nice. Me Mega Man is still like my main main, Why is I it guess? just Curry? This is so weird. I'm here for it, though. Oh, God. Do you know who would be a cool assist trophy? What's that? Chaos. Oh, hell yeah. And you have like, going through the different forms, like Chaos Zero to begin with, uh -huh. finalizes Chaos Seven. Oh, God. We've got to change <laughs> these happened? rules. We can't just have carry on. <laughs> it's so weird there's only Curry. Got Sonic Heroes playing. Uh -huh. right? I don't want any more Curry. I know, right? I don't know. You really, there, the one can never really have enough curry. This is a mess, though. <laughs> this is a mess. Oh, oh god! Oh, oh no! God. Oh no, that's way too early. Oh god! No way. Oh, all right, all right. Saving that final smash. Yeah. Oh god! No! 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 Oh god! Oh! Nice. I thought we could teleport past it. This is so weird that only Curry's on. I hate this. Yeah, this <laughs> yeah. is kind of awful. We'll fix this immediately. Oh god. Oh. oh. But yeah, I'm not sure one could ever have enough Curry. I don't know. Personally. Oh god, I ran right into that. No. No! Oh, <laughs> oh god. Alright. One more. All right. <laughs> Jesus. I can't. I, I can't. can't like, move. what can you even do? Yeah. Final smash. Where's the curry? Also, now there's no curry. What? There we go. Oh, oh. oh I missed. I totally. No, you I didn't. didn't. You somehow didn't. It's such a crappy final smash, though. Yeah. It's well, not his great. his uh, Shintra Yukon's a lot better. Yeah. If you can get it. Uh oh. Uh oh. You gonna you gonna come near me or? I, I don't. I'd rather not, personally. Oh, oh god! <laughs> oh. oh, I can't grab you because of the curry. I can't grab you. Good. Ah. No grabs, only smash. Oh god! You have no time for button inputs with this curry going on. There's like so little that I can actually do <laughs> with all this curry on. Give me all the curry. Oh god! It's only a matter of time. No! Oh! oh there it is. All right. Nice Tatsumaki. Alright, where's another Kari? Oh, God. Oh, okay. A little bit more. This is cursed, this match. Yep, this is just a cruel game. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> I have no idea. I could have sworn we put Final Smashes on. Well, okay. Final Smashers at least have been on, but... Well, that's over yeah. at least. We've got Nintendo Life saying, keep the curry on, you cowards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, which, which is the last Super Chat? Was that it? I... Th let's see. Yeah, that was we the did last that one. one. There's one more, though, I think, right? Uh, so we've got one here. Carter Fry. So Carter Fry with $5. Thank you so much. So happy to see you guys together. Been big fans for a long time. Just finished Clonoa Aww. 1 and 2 due to both of your recommendations and love them. Thanks. I Oh, man. Clonoa is so special to both of us. Yeah. Hell absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. What was your favorite? Did you prefer one or two? Yeah, let us know. I, for me, I go back and forth. I think two just barely edges it out for me, but it's really hard. See, the first one's just really special to me. Yeah. I, I, I love the remake, but uh -huh. the, the PS1 ending in particular just hits really hard. Right. It uh, does. The another, ending, there's another Klonoa question. I know. <laughs> uh, uh, Fisto with $1.99. Ash, will you pick up a physical Klonoa in, in the UK? I hadn't thought about it. That's Maybe I hadn't thought about that. I can do that. Maybe I'll do that. Here she is. Nice. You know what? Thanks for the reminder. I might actually do that. Yeah. I already own it digitally on PlayStation, uh, but I might have to pick up a physical copy. That's a good shout, yeah. I got a physical copy of Live Alive while I was nice. in Dublin, so that was nice. Jacob Tucker says, Hey, guys. Figured I'd watch you guys for, for as long as I can. Uh, enjoy your smashing, and I hope you have fun in the UK, Ash. Well, thank you very much. I'm having a great time here. Right, let's, uh, let's get rid of this curry. Yes, yes. <laughs> 
Uh, the Zebka asks if I was here for the for the heat wave. I got here on the last day of the heat yeah, wave, so thankfully mostly avoided it. Yeah, mostly avoided it. All right, so what what happened here? Is is the curry on? It is literally the how that is so weird. You right. must have had like some sort of like hangout or something yeah. with friends or. Okay, I saved it. The curry is not on. <laughs> you can all verify this, right? Yeah. There's no curry. All right. Uh, we got uh, Brandon Bovia here. Hey, hey, he says. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Let's make this our last randoms, and then we'll start uh, selecting what we want. All right, sounds good. Oh. Oh, Ridley. I'm, hmm. I'm a better Ridley than I am a DDD, to okay. be honest. I feel like I could go either way. I feel like I'm probably a little better at DDD than I am Ridley. Oops. Oh, I, I forgot the, yeah, the, the, the stars. Little stars. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh. I love how brutal Ridley's side B is. I know a lot of the uh, competitive scene doesn't like Ridley, but I love how Ridley plays. Mm. Yeah, he's fun. I'm not good with him at all, but... Oh, God. I also appreciate this stage. This is a good one. Yeah, this is a great one. The only stage that I miss, really, is Pac-Man. Like, oh, it's just, I know. There's no, there's no real Pac-Man stage. I know, and uh, Rainbow Road, too. Oh, oh yeah, I feel of like course. Rainbow, Rainbow Road, Road should be here. I don't miss the Brawl DK stage at all. That can get lost. Uh, no, I don't miss that. At all. <laughs> but, you know, one, one, one I do actually really miss is Woolly World. Oh, I, yeah. I, that was such yeah, a fun that, stage. I don't really see the reason for getting rid of that one. Oh, wrong way. Uh, the DK return stage was cool, too. Oh, the star again! I hate that thing. Ah. Here we go. Oh, oh, God! The comeback! Oh, Three hits and I'm dead. That's all it takes! That's all it takes. With, with DDD and Ganondorf, just a few hits is all it takes. I thought I was doing well, and then suddenly I'm just suddenly not. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. oh I missed. Uh -oh. oh! That's not good. <laughs> You come here. Oh. oh. This is not looking good for me. I'm okay with this. <sighs> oh! oh I'm so lucky. Oh, nice. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I'll do my recovery in like, mid frame. I, sh I should have probably tried just to keep the final smash, but I was like, clearly I'm having trouble getting yeah, you, so... That was a good call. Yeah. I love sounds this shit. Oh, that's so good. Just, off. Yeah. Ugh. Well, I had a really good first match, but now you're just you're just beating my ass now. Oh god, I'm just getting killed here. Oh. Ugh. Got a lovely ten dollar super chat there. We'll read it in just a Thank sec. Thank you. Oh god. <laughs> I love that. I wish I was Mega Man right now because DDD has a really bad matchup against Mega Man because even his regular Buster shots sure. just send the Gordos right back. I mean, even Hero's pretty good against DDD. You just get um, the oh, uh, the bounce and yeah, go straight back. Yeah, you know, Joker's pretty good against DDD too. With Arsene and oh, uh, no. oh! What happened? What, what, what happened? What happened? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> oh god, the pack, the Pac-Man. So it looks like Kotopek gave oh, me. No. Oh no! Oh, you're gay. I'm good. all right. Kotopek's got a correction on what I said about uh, competitive hating Ridley apparently. So I'll read that in just a sec. Ugh. Well, let's start. It's Pac-Man. Ah! <sighs> I'm really bad at getting. Smash I wasn't sure he got that for a Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice, that'll do it. So it's not that competitive scene dislikes really, it's more that he particularly he's not a particularly viable character. Mm -hmm. He does usually generate hype when people actually use him though. That's cool. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like most characters in Ultimate are, are viable to some extent. Yeah, that's what I love so much. Well, one of the many things I love so much about Ultimate is that like you see so much character diversity and high level play. Yeah. Whereas in Melee, it's, it's usually the same. Like it's it's Fox, it's it's, it's not usually Kirby. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, oh no! I tried the air dodge. This isn't enough though. This this shouldn't kill you. I think it might. You sure? Because it's not a. Oh, it's a meter. It's a meter. Never. No, oh, that was that, enough. That is enough. There you go. Okay. 
I know the super chats we missed out on, I don't think. But really appreciate all these, uh, these yeah, super chats, Yeah, thank guys. you so much, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Nervian says, there is the Pac-Man stage. Yeah, yeah exactly, the real Pac-Man stage. Yeah. Are we still doing random stages? Works for me. Cool, and we'll do our own characters this time. All right. Uh, Mario364 says, John, play Little Mac. I'm not a great Little Mac. I am terrible I will ignore. Little Mac. I will ignore yeah. your request. <laughs> I am so bad with Little Mac. I, one thing I wish they fixed is sometimes the character portraits when you're changing your costume don't always load it in. It takes a little while. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But it's not a big, big deal, though. I just want the Munchie Hero. Uh, Mario 364, yes. Kirby is really bad at melee. Or really bad in melee. He's also bad in Brawl, though, and he was my main in Brawl. Oh, this stage? Yeah, alright. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> Almost straight away! Starting, starting with violence here. I see how it is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> no! Yes! Oh, I was really oh. hoping. <laughs> get me out of it! Yes! No, get me out oh, of it! Oh, why are you not dead? <laughs> that should've... Those, I hate both this. of those should've killed you. I want no more of this. Oh god, that really did so much damage. Okay, no more of this. No more of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh no, this is the worst Hocus Pocus! I was like, what? Oh. Save me. Come on! Oh. I was like, if that didn't kill you, I was gonna like call shenanigans. This is my hacked copy, I forgot to tell you. Oh. Well, I'm gold now. That's not good for me. I better run the hell away. Come, come oh, now I'm gold. Now I'm gold. Oh, oh okay. I'll, I'll, what do we do now? Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. I'm, no! <laughs> Get me out of here! I'm just going to keep the no! DK freezes coming. Can you reach me from there? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, I'm, I'm safe. Back oh, nice. what? No! Yes! No! The heal! No way. This isn't allowed. Oh. oh god, now you're gold again. Run! Run! You can run. But you can't... Run! Oh, you can run, okay. <laughs> <laughs> But do you have Kamikaze? Oh god! Uh oh. PK Freeze is not my friend. <laughs> PK Freeze is everybody's friend. Oh! oh! Not enough though. Come on, all the heroes! Oh Ooh. no! <laughs> oh, I can't get over there in time. There we uh -oh. go. There it is. Would bounce help me here at all? <laughs> Would it deflect these? Oh, well, you didn't need to really... You just kind of... They went all around you. Oh, you come in. No! No! <laughs> no! Ah. <laughs> uh. Well, I don't know why I'm trying to fight you when you're gold. It's probably not a good idea. I think it's a pretty good idea. <laughs> Well, now that I'm gold, it's okay. Uh oh. Did I kill you? Like that? Jeez. All right. Oh, I. Oh, I, sh I shouldn't have shielded that. Oh no! Oh. oh. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm taking this personally now. Ah. Uh. Oh, no more, no more PK fires, huh? No more PK freezes, especially. <laughs> I grab what though. happens if I do PK freeze? I I think it just I don't know. It probably just doesn't doesn't hit you. I'm not sure how I could really reflect it. All I know is I want to I want to hit you one more time <laughs> <laughs> before this match. Oh, why did I do that? There we go. There we go. Well, Woo. I'm happy Lucas is gone. <laughs> Uh, let's see. We got Lee. Ho uh, hey, is that Hagen? Oh, Lee. Uh, that was probably one of uh, Aaron's wedding party. Oh, nice. Hey, Ash. Great time in Dublin. Catch you at the wedding, buddy. Well, thank you. Oh. Thank you so much for the donation, too, Lee. Really appreciate you, man. That's awesome. I think that's, uh, yeah, might be your only one for that one. All right. Cool. I'm going to open this door a bit more because it's getting warm. I was here. about to say, it is so <laughs> hot in here. 
And I know you just radiate sexuality, man, but I just, I'm just saying, man, I just like, oof. Oof. Pretzel says, OMG, I love your Celeste shirt, Ash. Thank you very much. Wow. I knew I had to rock the Celeste shirt when I was going to see John, because I, you know, I know how big a fan we both are of Celeste. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Ouch. Sebastian Valenzuela says, You can do it, hero. Kill that brat. <laughs> you can't call Lucas a brat. I mean... He's Lucas. In, in Smash, he's a brat. Lucas did nothing wrong. Uh, Ness and Lucas, I fear both of them in Smash. Oh, yeah. I, I just... I can't counter their styles. Palutena, huh? Okay. Yeah. Now, I'm going to go very drastically different. Probably a bad matchup for Palutena. Ooh, okay. But all but, uh, it takes is a few good hits with Ganondorf, and that's yeah, it. Yeah, but she's got lots of ranged hits. It's pretty hard to actually yeah. get close, but we'll see. Top Dog says Mega Man is now one of my Smash mains. Top Dog has been playing through the entire Mega Man I know, franchise. Yeah, yeah. Whenever I love I, that. On my friends list all the time, it's always that Mega Man Legacy collection. I love it. Go respect it. Good taste, Top Dog. Oh, I, I take a little bit of credit at least. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, God. <laughs> that was terrifying. Yeah, like Ganondorf, it isn't great for Palutena, but right now, uh, in terms, well of, in terms of damage, yeah. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that was way too close. I wasn't sure if you would keep coming uh, no, <laughs> towards no. me there. <laughs> oh, God. They just keep coming. Oh, oh it that's it. That's all yeah. it takes. Palutena is so fun to play. She is. Uh oh. That that uh, nair is just crazy for Palutena. I can't can't get close enough. Uh oh. Oh god no! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Ah, that didn't kill me. What? Wow! Are you kidding? I'm shocked. How? Oh. I really... Oh, that surprises me. Damn. I'm not I'm not sure I can land another hit against you. Keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to land a hit against me. You're Ganondorf. Oh, I definitely You're, shouldn't do oh, that. Oh, no, I, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I, I keep thinking it's safe to approach you in the air, but it's when you're Ganondorf, safe. it's not. It's no. never safe to do anything. Will this kill you? That has to. There's no way that won't kill me. There we yeah. go. Okay. No way. Death comes for us all. Oof. I feel like it shouldn't for Palutena because she's oh man, because she's a goddess. But you know, I would love to have Reedy to join. Um, oh, that would e be even great. just like a echo of Palutena. I really hope that rumored Bandai Namco thing of Kid Icarus Uprising. Please, 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 for the love of everything that is good and holy, let that be Kid Icarus Uprising. I will. You will hear me screaming from over here in the UK, <laughs> man. <laughs> Uh oh. That one's really hard to avoid. It's very hard. Yeah. But I'm alive. And you will see no more hits. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Woo! Ah. Oh, oh, there goes the door. <laughs> oh, oh, I missed the counter. That sucks. Get me down from here. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that'll do it. That last hit. Nice. That last hitbox of the uh, her up air is so good. John, you watch videos to counter the play style of Lucas. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I will one day. Maybe I will. This is like the first time we've gotten properly to play Smash. We keep trying, but even during our executive producer hangouts, we end up in different rooms. That's true, yeah. Yeah. Uh, one person says Medusa. Yes. Why does everyone underrate Medusa? Medusa would be an amazing Medusa's great. Smash yeah. character. Yeah, totally. Yeah. But I really wanted to see Tails. Like, and I, I never, I knew it would never happen. I really wanted to see Klonoa. Like, that would have been amazing. She but says it's here. Hey, she says. Hey, she says. Hey, man. I'm gonna go with everyone's favorite character. Oh, all right. Everyone's favorite. <laughs> clearly. Um, I'm gonna. Go... I like Byleth. I know. I know everyone hates their inclusion, but mm. I, I think they're fun. I think they're a lot of fun, actually. I'm gonna go with my favorite Nintendo character of all time and the objectively best Nintendo character. Most of all powerful. Time. The most powerful. Oh God, flying men. Oh no. Uh -oh. Unless you have hazards off. I don't, I don't think we do. Oh man, it's <laughs> gonna be wild. But yeah, no, um, 
Byleth is honestly, I don't care about the character, but they're honestly so much fun to play. Yeah, I, I'm by no means the biggest Fire Emblem fan, but um, I, th I feel like they, they differ so much to every other Fire Emblem character in Smash. Yeah. Ah. Oh, here they oh, come! God, here no. they come! Oh no, this is already so <laughs> one-sided. Oh no, this is not. This is this is terrifying. Kill him. Kill that man. Oh god. Oh, god. <laughs> what am I gonna do against both you and a flying man? Oh, oh my god, this is horrible. <laughs> this is one of those stages that, that made me makes me wish you could like turn on turn off stage hazards by stage. Right. Because there are a lot of stages where I like hazards. I, I love the stage itself, the background, the, the yeah. theme, the area. I, yeah. I, this is one of my favorite like earthbound areas, but Right. Yeah, not not like this though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not like, like this. Most of the stages I like hazards, but this is not one of them. Oh my god, this is just I, I need that smash ball. No, you don't. You already have a fly <laughs> this flying man already killed you. Killed me for you. Oh god, this is horrible. Why don't you come up here? I would really rather not. Go kill him, flying man. Oh! <laughs> tomato. Tomatoes are supposed to restore Kirby's health, not kill him. Oh god, this is like the worst match. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> That might kill me where I am. Yeah. yeah, right off this. That was hilarious. Well, that was pure skill, I, have, yeah. I think. Yeah. Obviously. Obviously. So now Byleth is the Ooh. most powerful Nintendo character. There you go. It's canonized. This made it canon. Uh, what do we miss? Shiza says, dude, I wish I was in that room with you guys. Congrats on reuniting, dudes. Oh, man. Thanks, man. If Shiza were here right now, the raw, the oh. raw energy would be I, uncontainable. I wish you could be here, dude. Oh, that's fine. Random that's fine, yeah. Uh, Killer Queen, I'm in the UK. Yes. I'm, yeah, I'm visiting uh, for various reasons, but I had to make sure I saw John while I was here. Are you going Sora? I'm going to go Sora. Let's do it. Okay. We can uh, get a fan in here in a moment to try and cool us down a bit. Also, plus, I, I also tend to get hotter more easily. Like, yeah. I have a problem with heat. It's, it's probably most people would be fine in this temperature. I'm going to... It's it's Xenoblade week, so I've got to represent. Oh, all right. All right. Yeah, we're, 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 we're like four days away from Xenoblade 3. We are. Damn. We're getting there. Yeah. Oh, Battlefield Big Blue, all right. Staying very uh, free of any spoilers. Don't, yes. want, don't want them. Oh, God. Actually, speaking of Pyra, um, we recently had a discussion with Sky David Bennett, the voice right. of Pyra and Mithra. For those who haven't seen that, uh, she's very down to earth. And she just talked about um, careers, like what you want to do when you when you finish school and everything. Because um, I did work experience with my sister-in-law, I guess, and uh, we had uh, Sky on. And that was a great discussion, by the way, man. Uh, it's it's nice seeing the comments because I thought it'd be quite um, limited in scope to who it appealed to. And there's, it seems like it wasn't. Yeah, there's a bunch of, like thirty-year-olds yeah. and up um, saying that it's helpful to them, so that's awesome. Which is uh, yeah, I love that. Oh god. That's Oh no! Oh! <laughs> I was like, that was gonna be tragic Nearly. that hit. I just like, I still like, it, the the excitement for me hasn't worn off even a little bit. Every time I see Sora in this game, I just get so happy. He looks like a Photoshop right now. This can't it's, be real. I know, right? And just every time I hear like Haley Joel Osment, thunder, fire, yeah, I'm just like, this is the greatest thing. Oh. God, oh. I went to... Too soon. Oh, no, 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 that's not good. Oh, oh! What am I doing? What am I doing? All right. Oh, damn. Oh, God. Oh, that's oh. Good. That'll give it to you. Like, oh, man. Come down here. I don't want to. <laughs> You've got it too. Oh, I do. Oh, no, gotcha. When, is that enough? No, it won't. And mine's the, the meter version, so it's weaker. Oh, that's true. It's not going to be. Yours is the, the real version, so. Mine's the real deal. Nope. Woo! I thought you were going to hit me. I, I was too hasty. Ooh. Oh, nice. Thought I might just catch you. Ooh, oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh. Not enough. Oh, not not enough. Nice. Sora's got the upper hand. Sora's counter is so good. Oh. 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 Nice. Oh no! 
Oh no! Oh, no! Oh, the suicide! But it's Xenoblade Week! Oh. Right, I'm gonna get a fan just to call us down okay. there, but I'll be right back. Alright. You're with us for a few seconds. I don't know if they, it's, if they can handle it. A whole minute of just me. Oh, this is so fun. It's so great being able to hang out with John in person, you guys. Uh, and she says, I wish you were too, I wish you were here too, man. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's great here. Claire Smith says, I miss Smash Hype. Smash Hype never dies, Claire, don't worry. Smash Hype is still here. I do miss the new character hype, though, for sure. Absolutely do miss that. Let's see... Chaostrophic says, a kind of suspect title, not gonna lie. That was the idea. That was the idea. Uh, Sebastian Valenzuela, not only is Sora fun, but he has the best recovery. Yeah, he's. I agree with both. Uh, his recovery is incredible, and just he's such a fun character to play. One thing that's been really nice for me is as a Mega Man main, Mega Man's one of the weirdest character in the, characters in the entire game, so it's really nice now to have a co-main who's just a very straightforward bread and butter character, right? So I have like a really weird character and a really straightforward bread and butter, and it's really nice. Um, oh, let's see. Twilord, yes, I did glad I did enjoy the food you suggested. Those spice boxes or boxes. Those spice bags slash spice boxes were really good. Yeah, thank you for the uh and so are the offbeat Oh my god, that fan is giving me life. Here we go. Oh hopefully this isn't too oh. loud. Oh my god. We've got it facing away from the microphone, so it shouldn't be too loud for you guys. Oh, I'm ready for revenge. That match was not ethical. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't really have, have ethical matches when you have smash balls and uh, meters on, right? At least anyway. there's no curry anymore. Right, right, that's true. So we're going back to just regular... Sure, let's yeah. do it. And then do we at some point want to open up a, uh, a lobby and get yeah, some folks in here? Yeah, let you fellas in, sure. All right. All right, let's see. You know, I fear fighting Zelda, so I'm going to be the fear Ooh, that okay. I crave. All right. I guess I got I to gotta bring out some Mega Man here. Right. Oh, you know what? Actually, though, well, I won't do it on stream. Okay. Normally, I have my... Uh, Right stick set to tilt, but that's okay. Oh, sure. Can, that's all good. I'm not the best Zelda, but I, right. whenever I play against them online, I always lose. Okay. So I figured I can, <laughs> I can harness that bit. Zel dude, dude, Daniel? Daniel Zelda is fucking terrifying. Man. I hate fucking against Daniel. <laughs> I, think I, I hate Daniel. Oh, no, I love Daniel. He's the best. But I hate his Zelda. His Zelda and his hero yeah. are just... And his Pac-Man. Oh, my God. His Pac-Man's terrifying, too. It's Daniel's just, just terrifying in general. I, yes. I, I fear that man. Yes. Every day of my life. Oh. oh! Oh, God. It's pretty hard to get any uh, projectiles out um, with, with Zelda against Mega Man. That's the idea. Oh, nice. That move, that's the move I hate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And Danu uses it to terrifying effect, too. I'm sure he does. This is always a really good, like, solid stage. I oh, yeah, yeah. I like this stage. Oh, and Zelda's final smash. Oh. That is a that's a real one. Oh no! Oh God! No! Oh, no. <laughs> oh. oh! What happened? Well, we're about we're hopefully about to see the best final smash in the game. Oh yeah, we are right here. I mean, this is I think we can all agree. The it's it's pretty damn good. Come they add they add like um, oh. Proto Man and Base over there. So yeah. Good. See, I'm the, I'm the asshole who is like, everyone's like, oh, it's so cool they added Proto Man and Base. I'm like, well, you know, pushing on my Mega Man fan glasses. They're not really actually Mega Men, so I don't know if I like that. But it's still really damn cool. Yeah. Come here. Oh, Whoa. no. Nice shadow kick. Oh, God. Oh, I lost my jump. No. Oh, oh. nice. Not nice. Not nice. <laughs> well, nice for me. That's what matters. Oh. Oh god, oh god, <laughs> let me down. No, let me just lift you gently off stage, man. Oh god, no! <laughs> no, not again! Okay, uh -oh. I can use this anywhere. It oh, I tried to air dodge out it of it. It pretty much doesn't matter where yeah. you use that thing. Yeah. I didn't know where the stage was for a moment there. I know, I didn't either. Oh, that move, man. Yeah, it's unpredictable. You just never know where it's gonna go. Ah. Oh, oh Jesus, that urchin. There's an ice cream van nearby. Oh, is that what, the, what that is? Okay, I was wondering. Oh! oh! There it is. Oh, that <laughs> ice, that such a jerk.
Oh. See, Mega Man's up smash doesn't have that slight to the side hitbox that Zelda's up smash does. Yeah. That's so nice to have. Oh, Ooh, that that's not enough. Oh. Oh, I was like, why am I, why did I rush coil not come out? What happened? Let me down. <laughs> Let me down. Uh oh. Oh god. The delay on the on the uh, phantom is just so like awkward. I never really know it's gonna. You never come know out. when it's gonna come. I know the longer she charges it, the longer it takes to. Oh come on! Come on! Oh, oh no! I thought I had you. I love the giant crash bombs on her head. Yeah. Oh, I meant to do a top spin there. It didn't quite come out. That might. No, not quite. Ah. Oh, nice. Oh. That was weird. Okay. That was weird timing. Oh. Nice. Oh. Oh, gosh. Should I use this? No, you shouldn't. You should not use it. Don't use it. Cease. I should use it. I should use it. No, how did you... You can't ah! avoid it. There is no way. Yeah. Ugh. Once that comes out, you're dead. Yeah. You're doomed. My favorite, like, type of player to, to face when I'm playing Mega Man is, like... When they like they see Mega Man, they're like, "Oh, I'm just gonna bring out Fox or Falco or Wolf because they have a reflector, and uh -huh. Mega Man can't do anything else." I'm like, "Oh, so that's what you think? Is it? <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> is that what you think? That might do that's it. it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. All right. Hey, our uh, our good friend and community member Grantles is here. Oh, Grantles! Hey, Grantles. Hey. Yo, great thing to wake up to. Claire Smith, best smash moment for me was the banjo announcement. I cried. That was one of the hypest That's electric. moments for me. Was yeah. that the year we're at E3? Uh, yeah, I think it was. Yeah, it. the um, yeah, the, the press room was just. Usually, it's this calm, collective place, and all of a sudden, there's this burst of energy where everyone yeah. there was like, "Is this really happening?" That was amazing. Yeah, I, I remember I was just bouncing up and down in my chair, just like in the media room, just like, "Yes, banjo, banjo, banjo." Uh, what controllers are we using? Are we using, can this reach? Uh, just uh, pro, pro controllers. controllers. Yeah, from pro controllers. I'm a GameCube controller guy when I have one handy, but like, it was just easy enough to yeah. use pro controllers. Um, what do I want to be now? Hmm, let's see. I think I might just go and go back to my other boy here. I'll be someone I'm rarely. Ooh, in okay. We'll see how this goes. All right. She just says, I'd love to use Mega Man, but I can't come to terms with his high level play. Right, incorporating, incorporating lemons. lemons, yeah. <laughs> I think it really helps me being, like, a huge Mega Man fan and just, you know, being so good at the Mega Man games and just playing them a lot. Like, he plays like he just stepped out of a Mega Man game. Uh-huh. And that really helps. Ooh. Oh. Oh, wow, that stops it? Interesting. Apparently. Interesting. Okay. You come back here. Incineroar is good, but I very rarely take advantage of that. I yeah, I he's a good character, but I cannot use Incineroar whatsoever. He's tough. Yeah. Yeah, I just like don't understand him. Sora's just. I, I was actually saying while you were gone on stream that uh, like it's it's really fun having Sora as a co-main now because like Mega Man is such an unorthodox character, whereas Sora sure. is very straightforward and bread and butter and kind of refreshing in that sense for me. Oh, what? <laughs> what shenanigans? Well, you did say this is your hacked copy, so... Of course, yeah. 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 Anything goes. Shenanigans. Ugh. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh. What happened there? Oh, God. I'm, his recovery is so weird. Oh, no. No! Oh! Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh, oh no! <laughs> That'll do it. We got uh, Bry Lewis97 says, Hope you're having a great start to your week. Happy Monday. We are. We have the best possible start to our week, I'd say. Whenever you smash with your friends, it's always a good time. Exactly. Oh. God, why? 
God, his his movement is so weird in Cinderors. Ah, that's not gonna hit, is it? Now, no. Nope. Ah. That's what we like to see. Ah, I can't hit you. Ah. Uh, George G says, are go. they in America or the UK? We're in the UK. Yeah, in the UK right now. Ash is spilling things with yous. Um. <laughs> Never. I refuse. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Sonic Colors I have, I have is a, a different game. I have a second chance here. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah he's is. got it. No, the, you will, you will never get me to spell things with extra use, never. But the Sonic Colors box art has more wisps on it now. <laughs> That's true. Oh, I thought you had me. God, his Keyblade combos are so fun. They just, are. They oh, really are. So fun. And I always use either his... I never really use his Kingdom Hearts 1 costume. It's, it's usually 3, but I often use... Like, most often 3 and then either 2 or Dream Drop Distance. But And sometimes Timeless River. But I just love his 3 costume so, so much. Ooh. It's funny, I thought I was going to be an up tilt since I'm so used to having my right stick on tilts. Jesus oh! Christ! That move is just, like, ridiculous! Uh oh. oh I should have used it there. Yeah, I know. Oh. Is that it? Oh, oh nice. Wow. I think I air dodged into the ground. Well, it didn't oh. matter because he got me there. Well, is that it? No, I don't think so. I think it might oh, be. Oh, it might be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. Whew. I feel like I should do extra damage against Incineroar. Well, for ice. <laughs> yeah, Blizzard. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, gee. That move. You're really good with it. Like, I don't really understand how it works. But as long as I'm using this, the uh, the buffed version, you can get some really good results. Oh, yeah, I can see that. But it can also be your doom using this move. Yeah, because it's very uh, exploitable if you do see it coming. Yeah. I've gotten so many kills with Sora's up here. It's like it's, str it's always stronger than you think it is. <laughs> oh, jeez, uh -oh. you're right. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm scared. No, don't, don't you get that one, too? <laughs> get a double final smash here. Oh, God, no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I'm too scared. Oh, and I got the double final smash after that. You know, Spicy Pandotter, that's a good point. It's more water is, is better against fire, not ice. Good point. If it was water good, then it should be do extra damage. I've never been so scared in my life. Just ended it there. Uh, multiverses main. I, I'm not really experienced enough multiverses yeah. to have a main, to be honest. It's so funny. I, I was able to, uh, thanks to Brandon. Brandon helped, helped get me into the open beta earlier. And I played a little bit of it, but I didn't have much time to play it at the time. Mm. And then I got into the the advanced, like, early access literally the day before, like, my flight here. So I oh, couldn't damn. even enjoy the early access. And so I haven't, I don't have my PS5, obviously, with me. So I'm like, I can't, I haven't gotten to play it. Let's do uh, one more match here. All right. And then we'll take it online and uh, try and get you some of you guys in. All right. Let's do it. Um, How do you want to do this? Do you want to do it with, uh, with our patrons, with our Discord, or just all of them? Um, I think... Let's see. That's a good point. I mean, it's, it's going to be hard. I think we should probably do it with our patrons, only because we're going to have to ask people to cycle out. And there's and quite know, a lot of you yeah, in here, so... Yeah, uh, there are quite a lot of you in here. Probably best. Uh, well, I was Lucas earlier. Let's go with... Oh, uh, I fear this. I fear this. I'm yeah. scared. <laughs> All right. But yeah, our patrons are. By the way, if you if you don't know, we have a, a private Discord fan server that is the best community on the internet, you guys. And if you want to f find out more about that, uh, head on over to Patreon.com/GBGaming. Uh, our one dollar tier just gets you into the Discord, and that that's not because we want to, you to pay to hang out with us. It's because uh, we found that just that one time one dollar purchase is enough to ward off trolls yes. and bad faith actors. <laughs> so that gets you into the Discord. Um, but we also have other, you know, tiers you can support us at, and you should definitely check those out. But, uh, we have, like, the nicest people in our community. They're so, they're, they're so good. They're amazing. Amazing vibes. And, the, the, yeah. The name in good vibes isn't us. It's all of you. Exactly. We're, we're only moderate vibes. Yeah. But you guys, just, just all amazing. Yeah. We're, we're mid vibes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's funny, you said you were worried about Ness. You, you really shouldn't be, because I'm okay with Ness, but I'm way better with Lucas. Okay. 
And I'm, you're, I'm fine with that. I feel like your uh, Pichu is like terrifying, man. It's been a while since I played Pichu, but uh, you, you can do some real damage. Oh, oh no! no. Okay, here we go. <laughs> He's still how alive. That, how is he not dead? You're Pichu, <laughs> and it's a walk off. Okay, come on. Okay, yeah, that's that it. Has that's to it. Do it. I was like, wait a minute. But yeah, it's funny. In other Smash games, I'm better with Ness typically, but in this, Lucas is probably my third best huh? in the whole game. You get away from that edge. You keep, you keep trying to crap me. <laughs> oh, God. I felt bad. Daniel and I had a, uh, a match in our most recent executive producer hangout uh -huh. uh, stream. We were playing Smash. And I happened to get a kill on him in a walk-off, and I could feel the pain, the anger. Like, it, it's, it never feels good to get killed on a walk-off stage. And I could just feel the anguish in his voice. Was there was... a quiet moment? <laughs> yeah. And, you know, and normally, you know, Daniel, I would say, of all of us on the crew, Daniel's the best Smash player, yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll say so. Yeah. And, like, he oh. is very consistent, and I just felt so bad. What? No! Oh, yes! No! Yes! This, this is unacceptable! Completely acceptable. What are you talking about? <laughs> Are you seeing this, Jack? I love it. Two PK stars from and a double final smash last match. I'm, I'm here for it. <laughs> do you miss um, the 1 2 version of this as part of the level? Like, we all had uh, two parts of it. It's not like something I think about, like, oh man, it's, you know, it's yeah. so much worse without it. But it's just, it's weird that they got rid of it. Like, why? Like, what's the what's the point, right? I hit, that, was, that... <laughs> that was unacceptable. Let's, let's go online. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. I guess we should hide ourselves for a moment so we can yeah. get the room set up. So uh, let me go back to this scene, and we'll change the text. So yeah, we're going to uh, have this be our patrons joining us only because, uh, well, obviously we love our patrons. We love all of you too. But this does really, re you know, rely on the honor system in terms of people cycling out. And we found it can be a little harder to uh, have people do that reliably when they're not just our patrons, right? Yeah. So, and, you know, given Smash's lobby system, eight people at a time. So. What yeah. is that about? Yeah. <sighs> All right. Should we keep the same rules or, or go all items or well, chat, full chaos? What do you want, chat? You guys are going to be doing this. Yeah. Do you want full chaos or do you want... Uh, what's, what's your preference? Yeah, let us know. By the way, we just hit 98.4. Wow. We're, we getting, are... we're getting towards... Yeah. The 100,000 goal. We are so close to 100k, you guys. It's going to be so exciting to be part of the six-figure club. Oh, yeah. Right, let's uh, let's turn off Final Smashes. All right. We're going to play this a little bit a little bit more safe. All right. Oh, wait. Is, is the meter still Ooh, on? Becca says full chaos. Full Uprising chaos? Uprising 4C. Total chaos. We'll keep the, the meter on. Okay, we'll a keep the meter a on. A little bit of chaos. Okay, we'll keep the meter on. Sounds good. All right. So we've got four players. Uh, I think that's all right. Yeah, by, yeah, three stock, four players. Uh, sounds good. Do we want public or... No, yeah, public for sure. Of yeah. course. Uh, GVG. GVG be the name of the arena. So, uh, what password? I'll let the Patreon know our password. It'd be a very secure one. So, uh, we'll go... Did you see that one, Ash? I actually was uh, getting ready to put, put oh, it in okay. Discord, so... So, you'll, you'll see in just a second, all anyway. Right. But we're nearly ready to embrace you all. Come smash with us. Uh, so the that's just the ID. All right, I'll, I'll put I'll put in the um, password myself. Are you going into live audience? Uh, yeah, I'll put it in live audience chat. Good idea. Now here's a question: Are you in this? Um. Oh. I guess we'll we'll have to switch off. Yeah, I guess we'll have to rotate. We'll have to switch off. Yeah. All right. And that's one really really dumb like one of the very few ways Smash Four is actually a little better. Very few ways is that you can have two players on one console. You can't do that in Ultimate. I th can can you do that for by like uh, with randoms? Um, you can't. Let's make sure that we're. Uh... Oh yeah. That's weird. Yeah. So I, I know there is, there is a uh, a two versus two mode. Mm hmm. But yeah, I guess, yeah, that's so strange. Yeah, no, you can't have more than one player on the same console. It's really, really annoying. So right now we've got... Oh, I should probably change uh, what they're seeing. Hey! We've got Spicy we go. Pandy, we've got Top Dog, we've got John, who is Ash, for this round. <laughs> but yeah, for some reason we can't have uh, me and Ash in, on the same game. Which is weird. Yeah, so you could do that in Smash 4. 
but not in Ultimate, and it's really annoying. Uh, but yeah, we'll just rotate the right. controller around cool. each game. All right, I just posted the password and ID in our live audience chat. By the way, I think there are like over 300 of you uh, hanging out with us today. Well, yeah, Thank you're you right. very much. Well, 250 now, but 300 earlier. That's Thank awesome. Thank you very much. Um, all right, should we just go ahead and start with the with uh, Top Dog and I Spicy guess so. Candy? All right. Is, well, all you, right. Have, you have no character at the moment. Are you playing right. random or... Uh... Uh, no, let's see. I'll... Let's see here. I mean, I, I kind of have to... Since I did Ness again, I got to do Lucas. Okay. It's got to be Lucas. Um, you know, it's funny. Actually, Little Timothy Deluxe, good point. I do have my Switch with me, so I could maybe go it'd be, get it. It'd be a bit tricky out here, I think. Oh, you think so? We've okay. got an awkward setup where there's an Ethernet cable running through the house back in. Ah, uh, okay. Not a great spot for wireless. Oh, that's true. Because I'd have to play, have to play yeah. on wireless. Yeah. All right. That's okay. Yeah. Means more patrons. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Andy Beal says, oh my gosh, Ash is hanging out with John and Galler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you see any um, Wooloos on the way here? Uh, I, I, all, all over the countryside. Oh, uh, yeah, wheelies everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Hell yeah. All right, so we got Top Dog as Mega Man here, professing her new main. Let's see, can Top Dog give uh, Mega Man the respect he deserves? <laughs> this is a good connection. Yeah, it is. You never know. Sometimes you play with four people and it doesn't quite go the yeah. way you want, but this, this is perfect. I always feel bad, like, when matches are going really well and then someone who hasn't played yet gets into a match and it suddenly slows down yeah. and everybody knows without saying anything whose internet it is right it's like <laughs> i always feel so bad for that person <laughs> i was actually that person uh, unintentionally in the in the netherlands when i was in the netherlands last month because i was i was trying to play a match uh on a really crappy hotel wi-fi connection and i was just figured i'd try and so i just joined a public lobby and as soon as i got into a match it just it ruined the entire experience for uh -huh. everybody. I felt so bad. I left after that, of course. I felt really bad. Oh, I almost spiked you, Top Dog. Oh. See, Smash Online for me has never really been a bad experience. I'm, I'm always yeah. hearing about these people saying it's the worst online ever, and I'm sure their experiences, you know, they, they show that. But for me, I, I've always had pretty smooth matches. It's never I been agree. that laggy. Like, it depends. Like, sometimes I'll have matches with people who have clearly bad internet, Yeah. and it's really bad. But when I'm playing with other people who have decent internet, you know... I'm not a pro, but I'm good enough to know, you know, like, what I'm doing, obviously, pretty well. Oh, Jesus. And, like, <laughs> it, it, it feels fine. Like, it doesn't, it's not as bad as some people say, I don't think. Yeah, I, I'm sure some people's experiences aren't great. Right. But it, it does come down to the individual's connection in the end. Exactly. Like, I don't think it's always, like, there will be people out there who are like, oh, Smash is Online is the worst. It's unplayable garbage game. And I'm like, that is rid patently ridiculous. Uh -huh. If you have decent internet. It's they can be pretty good. See, D Dog says uh, for me, Mario Kart's the best online experience. Um, oh, really? It's it's for weird me, for me because <laughs> I was going to say something okay. similar. Uh -huh. It has the illusion of being really good because uh -huh. it's it's just you racing and you know it doesn't matter that much. Right. But the 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 other players are always teleporting for me, or some I throw an item and it should hit them and it doesn't. Right. Yeah. No. For me, it's like by far the worst. Oh no. Oh, that was weird. Huh. I know Lucas's uh, Fort Smash reflects, but I I hit it the wrong way. Oh. Huh. All right, it's just me and Valor left. The cooler Jessica gave us two bucks and says, "Holy heck, John's real!" Right? Yeah, I'm a real guy. Oh God. John is. I'm CG actually. You're right. <laughs> oh, there it is. <sighs> oh. Oh, oh nice. nearly a double double. Ah, I love Hero's Jab combo. Nerbian says the best online is experience is Picto Chat. Uh -huh, oh, give yeah. me claps. Here's oh, clap. man, hell yeah. Hell yeah, Picto Chat. Man, you had to be there, but like, for <laughs> like for the, anyone who's ever done. <laughs> hell yeah, the PK Thunder 2. Uh, that wasn't enough, though. Wasn't enough. Oh, that'll do it! That's gonna do it! Oh, and Sean nice. says Mario Maker 2 is the worst online experience. Yeah, Mario Maker 2 is really bad. I think it's gotten a little bit better. It's bad. I, I played it with a patron um, uh -huh. last weekend. And it, it wasn't bad. Like, but that's, that's just two people, though. Right. When you're going with four randoms, it can be yeah. awful. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, if, uh, once you've played like two or three matches, please do cycle out so anybody who else is trying to get in, they can get in and play as well. If I change character, I'll get kicked out. Oh, I? that's true, you will. I'll be Lucas then. I'll All be right. Lucas. 
Or we could just keep it on random so that we never have to worry about That's true. changing characters. We'll try, we'll try the next round, All yeah. Right. So, uh, Lodestar Valor says, well done, John. That's, this is about to be John playing, and he's about to kick ass as well. That I don't know. Me. I'm not a great Lucas. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So, yeah, that last <laughs> match was me. This next, We're just going to keep alternating. Yeah. And, yeah. Did you have any fun PictoChat experiences? So, yeah, I was going to uh, say, yeah. so you had to be there, but if you've ever used PictoChat at an anime convention, oh, uh -huh. it's just, like, when you're... I, I, used, I used to go to a bunch of anime conventions, and, like, you know, you'd be sitting in the audience waiting for, like, an A and B contest. Uh -huh. Or some sort of, you know, whatever, presentation panel. And it's just... It was so ahead of its time, back in the day. And when you got to use it for what it was, you know, originally intended, and with a bunch of random strangers... I mean, yeah, you get a bunch of people drawing dicks. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. That's just... When man yeah. is given a pencil, of course <laughs> yeah. he's going to draw a dick. Yeah, but it was so fun just getting these random messages from other people in, like, anime convention audiences. And it's just, you had to be there, I think, but it was really cool. Uh -huh. What do you think the reason is that man draws dick? Like, we, we have to be, we could draw vaginas, <laughs> uh -huh. but it's always, it's always dicks. I, I feel like there's a spin-off TV show idea here for man versus food. <laughs> man draws dick. Yeah. You know, I don't... I don't know. I, I don't know the, a lot of the reasons people do what they do. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, oh. George, George G says, I want Pit to chat on Switch. I don't think we'll... I, I, would, I would love that, but I don't think it'll ever happen only because of what happened with... Uh, what was it called? Swap on Notes? Swap Note. Yeah. With uh, kids getting sent. Yeah. Really messed up stuff. Oh, nice, Ooh. PK. Oh, I'm not good with... <laughs> I'm not good with Lucas, really, as he pulls off a PK Thunder 2. Uh oh, oh, we're safe. All right, all right. Yeah, Top Dog, we are almost at a hundred thousand subscribers, and if you happen to be watching and aren't subscribed, help us get there. Oh no, come on! Okay, I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm gonna show that. Christopher Martin says it's because dicks look silly. I mean. Is it really something that is it that straightforward? I guess. I mean, Ryan Thyan says male genitalia funny. <laughs> it's okay, I guess. Maybe dicks really are just funny, and that's yeah. as far as it goes. Is that it? Yeah. Uh, Hytham G with a four dollar ninety nine cent super chat. Thank you, Hytham. If if anything, I would love if Smash Ultimate keeps up its, its legacy with new characters and content. If it had a Mario Kart Eight Deluxe treatment with new content and such. Same. I. I was very vocal about this in the lead up to the final character reveal, but I was really sad about the end of Smash Ultimate reveals and hype. And you know, I, I think I ended up being in the minority on that. I, I got a lot of takes that were like, "No, we're really, you know, the hype is just too much. It's 13 years of, of hype, and we're tired and fatigued." I never felt that way. I, I could have kept getting characters forever and mm. never gotten tired of them. Oh, or got a crit from Hero there. I somewhat agree. At the yeah. same time, though, I think when you take something away and get to rest for a bit, I think we'll we'll really appreciate what we're getting. Um, uh -huh. I think there's definitely a a factor of some fans just sort of taking it for granted. Right. Like here's the next character they revealed. Wait, where's the next character? Right. Um, but at the same time, I would also just take it forever. Yeah, and I mean, of course, I want I want uh, you know Sakurai to have his break, and and you yeah. know I want him to do what he wants to do. Like he, if he wants to make something else great, he should do that. But I would never get tired of Fighters Passes, like literally ever. Like this this game could keep getting content for. I mean, there's always another character. Yeah, and I'll never get tired of it. And you know, I want to see other people get who they want. I got spoiled with Ultimate between four and Ultimate. I got every, like, all my yeah, game characters. You did. I want everybody to get who they want, so I just wanted to keep going. I was so... I mean, the fact that we that I began with Mega Man and ended with Sora, like, I mean, that's... No one gets that lucky. Yeah, they, I got ridiculously lucky. There's still gaps. Like, I yeah. love a puzzle character. I mean, no. I know we've got Dr. Mario. He doesn't count. No, he doesn't count. Lip. Lip. I would loved to see Lip. Lip. Oh. Yeah. oh, is that it? That's it. That's it. Look at this guy. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing with Lucas. <laughs> I don't know how to use this character. All right, let's uh, let's uh, go and spectate for a second. We're going to change yeah. ourselves to random. Don't start the match, everyone. We want to see what you're doing. Yeah, don't start it yet. Yeah, ho hold off that start button. If anyone presses it, they're going to video game jail. You don't want to go there. <laughs> I'm uh, going to see if I can get my wife to tune in. Okay. What time is it where Abacella uh, is right now? Um, it is, let's see, 10.14. So she's probably right in the middle of like a work meeting. But It's always time for Smash. It's always time for Smash, exactly. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. Like There we go. 
You can I've start. Been, like, I used to love traveling for work as much as I can, and I still do. Traveling is one of my favorite things to do in the world. Oh. Uh-huh. But it used to be that I could just, like, travel and be gone and, and you know, love it and be great. But I've been, I, I will have been, by the time I leave, in the UK for 11 days. And that's too long. I don't, it's so hard to be away from her for that long. Yeah. I just miss her terribly. And now it's just like, when I get a chance to go abroad, like, I might actually get a chance to go to Gamescom for the first time this year, ever. Which is, I've always wanted to go. It's on yeah. my bucket list. But then I'm like, but I have to be away from her for a week. And it's just like... That's a lot. That's hard. It's yeah. just too many... Yeah, I don't want to be away from her for a second, let alone a week, you know? <laughs> it's it's tough. I, obviously, that that is really, really tough. Yeah. I was given the opportunity to go away for two weeks to Japan. Right. And I really, really wanted to take it. Uh, but I would miss Roxy for one, but then Amelia too. It's just... It's too much. Yeah. I, I can't do that And you want to go with them, too. Like, yeah, yeah. You want to go as a totally. family. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think... I mean, I would even have... A, I've been to Japan a few times, and it's like one of my very favorite places to go. But at, the, at this point... If I was given a chance to go to, to Japan for two weeks, like all expenses paid and stuff, I don't know that I would take it because I just don't want to be away from her for that long. Yeah, I mean, it's, money's one thing. Yeah. The time, though. That, the that, time. You, you, right. can't, you can't buy time. Right. Uh, Nervian um, says, wait, you guys are going to game come this year? Uh, um, just not us. Just just me, maybe. Uh, and if I go, it would be as part of my day job. Yeah. I, I still would go with GVG business cards, don't get me wrong. And, you know, do what I can uh, as GVG there. But it's something that I would specifically be part of because yeah. of my day job. It wouldn't be crazy expensive for me to go, I don't think. Uh, so there's there's a possibility, maybe. Mm. I'll think about it, yeah. Yeah. But are you going to be there now, Bian? Because if so, we want to see you. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And yeah, man, if you, if you can join me there, if I, it turns out I'm going to be there, I'd love to see you there. When I was great. doing that Wii Games Online video, um, you know, we, we, like, we revived a bunch of closed online Wii games. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nerbian joined me for Tatsunoko vs. Capcom. Oh. And it was so fun just uh-huh. revisiting that game with him. Um, it, you forget how good it is. It's, it's like one of the best it's a great fighters game. I've played. It's just so good. It's a great game. And I think it's still to date the only fighting game that Mega Man Trigger's been in. I think that's right. I think it's still the only one. Yeah. And that was a really cool thing to see. By the way, nicely done, Top Dog. I saw you get everybody with that final yeah. smash. That was great. Uh, George G says, I've never left the city I live in. And, you know, hey, traveling's not for everybody, but personally, I would say travel as often as early as early as often as you can if you have the means. Yeah. There's nothing like experiencing the way other people live around the world. It'll change your perspectives yeah. on life, I feel. Really? Yeah. I just love traveling so much. <clears throat> River the D. The real Gamescom was the friends we made along the way. Now, speaking of River the D, how's Waddle D Nose doing, man? He's doing pretty good. Um, <laughs> let's check how many followers that guy has. Because nice. I, I started using him a bit. Uh, uh-huh. He's not on this computer, apparently. But I, I used him a bit more uh, to see if uh-huh. people would fall for it again without deleting anything. Uh-huh. Just to see like, if uh, you can still fall for the same trick when it's been publicly exposed. I saw that you did it again. So yeah. funny. And people were. So he's got nearly 8,000 wow, followers. Wow, almost 8,000. Which is a lot. Well, that, all that insider <laughs> info, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let see what he says. I would love to, but I can't go to Gamescom this year. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. That's okay. <laughs> Con EG says, I would do a low-level crime for a new TVC. It's in your name, Con. Yeah. Literally, the, it's in your name. There you go. You know what? I'll do a low-level low, low level crime for a new uh, Tatsunoka versus Capcom. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. I, I would do... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've said before that I would do things with a capital G for, like, a new Klonoa game. I would yeah. do a low-level crime for a TVC. I mean, I don't I don't know much about Tatsunoko. Ah. Uh-huh. But just the game itself? Just the game itself. So fun. It's so fun. Yeah. I still think there is so much potential in a Nintendo versus Capcom. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah. Like a not, proper... Not, not oh. borrowing from Smash, just pure Capcom style. Pure Capcom yeah. 2D fighter style. Yeah. Yeah, not a platform fighter. Just, but sprite animated. It could be Polygon oh, yeah. or sprite, but imagine a sprite animated Nintendo versus Capcom. That'd be so good. Dear lord. That would just be... Or I still I still kind of like to see a, a Capcom versus Capcom. Like just, just, just a all full on Capcom because like yeah. every every versus game I'm like there are Capcom characters missing who I would like yeah. to see and Capcom I think outside of like Nintendo I think I would probably rank Capcom after Nintendo as having this, the biggest stable of characters I love and care about. Yeah, right. I mean, they, they, I guess they've done it already, but the um, Namco cross Capcom was one thing. That's true. But Bandai Namco true. have a huge pool of legacy. You've got Klonoa, yeah. you've got Pac Man, you've got all those arcade characters, you've got Galaga, you've got yeah. So much. Uh, they got Dark Souls and Bloodborne and right. Elden Ring, and they've got a massive amount of of pull there. Oh my god, a Namco versus Capcom. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh my god. 
Um, get Cosmos in there. They, they, I guess oh, they own Cosmos. Yeah. But I don't know how the rights work, but yeah. I'm sure you can put her in there. Uh, as a reminder, everybody, if you have played two or three matches, please do cycle out of the room, So, as Top Dog just did. Thank you, Top Dog. So other people who are trying to get in can get in. And for uh, those of you who want to get in, uh, the password and ID are... Well, the ID's on screen, but the password is in our live audience chat in our Patreon. Yeah. Or in our Patreon, in our Discord. <laughs> uh, what was this? A Sega versus Capcom. Oh, yeah. You've got Atlas. You've got... You, yeah. know, you can get all the Persona characters, all of the Shimigami Tensei characters. Yep. You can get Sonic. You can get... Afterburner somehow. Oh. Yeah, get after, get, just get a plane. Yeah. Just get a plane in there. Yeah. Oh, man, that would be... And Yeah, yeah. Uh, Al's, that great point. Square is big, too. And I would love to yeah. see that, but Square would never let it happen. No. They would never. No, they wouldn't. And Playable Munchie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basola just texted me. She's in here watching his place. Oh, hey, hey, Basola. Yeah. We got to get you over here. Yeah. Uh, hopefully for oh, October. Did, for did we just pull ourselves out accidentally, though? Oh, that happened. Well, oh, okay, we, we were in. Oh, yeah, right. it was weird. We were already next in line, so weird. We got all right. We're good to go now. Yeah, waiting for battle to start. Cool. Nerbian says though playable Klonoa means every character gets inflated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Just wahooing everybody. Wahit. <laughs> it was funny. So uh, I mentioned this on a GVG cast recently, I think. But uh, my wife had never been really exposed to Klonoa before, and so she was like watching me play Klonoa one. <laughs> She's like, oh, this is cute. I totally see why you like it. This is so cool. And then she got, she saw the scene. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. And then she saw the ending. <laughs> and she's like, what the fuck? Yo, this, this, where, this? where did this happy childhood like, game go? What am I watching? Yeah. What? Why is this so traumatic? And I'm like, I, I, I know. There's nothing quite like Klonoa out there. It's like, it's kind of like dark and cute in the way Kirby is. But I, I would say less straight up like dark, uh, crazy monsters and more traumatic. Uh -huh. dark, right? Because Klonoa goes through a lot of shit, man. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Kirby goes through darkness, but he, he just, he's, he's smiling the whole he's way He's smiling through. the whole way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whereas, like, whereas Klonoa, I think, really needs therapy for life. Yeah. After some of the stuff he goes through. Yeah. Whereas Kirby's giving therapy to the monsters he kills. Exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> he's, he's the therapist. This is, this is the first ever Ultimate DLC stage, and it's still one of my favorites. It's so good, yeah. Visually, it is just Do you prefer so the 5-4-3 variant for this? I'm it's biased. Hard. I, yeah. Uh, Four's my favorite persona. See, I, I, I love this style. Yeah, I, so I think I'm, I'm going to have to go with this because four is my favorite as well. Nice. However, blue's my favorite color, and I really like the three there. Yeah. So, but I think I have to go with with four because it's just so striking, and P4 is my favorite you know, persona. Oh! oh that was wild! <laughs> nice. Wow. That was cool. That's one thing that's great about this game is I like no matter how many I've played how many thousands of matches of Smash across the years, yeah. and I still feel like I see things happen that I haven't seen before. Totally. You know, I mean, not just an ultimate, but just you know across the years, it's, it's amazing. Here we go. Uh oh. All the yeah, heroes. Here are the heroes. Yep. Nice. It always throws me off that this is a 30 FPS sequence, though. It always just like yeah, it's, it's, so it's a weird. bit jarring. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Master Pikachu 95, poor Klonoa, he needs therapy and lots of hugs. He yes, does. he does. Yes, yes, indeed. Oh. One nice. stage I want to play on, though. The King of Fighters stage. It's so good. That's my favorite DLC stage, yeah. I think, overall. It just changes, it changes everything. It changes the dynamics yeah. of how you play Smash. The wall popping, it's so fun to, yeah. like, predict the trajectory of a wall pop and then yeah. follow up with a, oh, it's so fun. It's so fun. Uh, Brad Conley says, I honestly think Klonoa 2 is one of the best 2D platformers right under DKC Tropical Freeze. High praise, but I, I can't disagree. Klonoa yeah. 2 is one of my favorite platformers. It's I love the the not only the creative ways it incorporates 2.5D camera angles and gameplay, but also just like replaying again all these years later, it hit me again just how inspired the world design is. Mm -hmm. And how like much it pulls you into its world and just how like these aren't just game these aren't just stages to play through they're fully realized worlds let and... me upset you a second uh -oh. so um uh -oh. in your mind picture the klonoa 2 box okay okay, okay. Uh -oh. so you nice, uh oh vivid... yeah with him uh Starting. with him surfing down the river yeah 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 yeah, little, yeah. it's a bit stuck here uh -oh. a second i'll show the camera too all right <laughs> oh no, that's so not good. The two box. Oh, and then you got this baby. Look that's pretty bad. How beautiful is that? 
To be to be fair though, that's not as bad as the mid two thousand Mega Man box arts for Europe. Oh yeah, oh, those. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you have those? Sec. I've got, <laughs> oh no! Please I've got tell me you them. have uh, Mega Man Zero Two. That's the I best don't, one. I've oh. got this beauty. Oh no! So that's weird. almost as bad. <laughs> Mega Man X Eight. That's so bad. Look how look how with like the MS Paint background. You see this on a shelf? Like, mom, mom, yeah. please, please, can I get that? I have to show everybody though Mega Man Zero Two because at least oh, that sure, one. Yeah. That one has, you know, X8 at least has the decency to use, like, actual key art. Like, official Capcom key art of X, right? But the Zero Two box art in Europe, it's not even... It's, like, bad fan art. I'm sure you've seen this. <laughs> I think I have, yeah. yeah. Oh, so yeah, 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 show, yeah, show so the I gotta camera. show the camera. So that's the European box art for, <laughs> for Mega Man Zero Two, and it's, like... They, did they get an intern just to draw all that? Like, what happened? Oh, there? it's us. It's us. It's us. Yeah, let's do it. All right. We are playing random here. Uh, Master Pikachu95 again says, Hey, Ash, I recently played Klonoa 1 and 2 through the Fantasy Reverie series, and I loved both of them. Nice. These games are definitely one of the best platformers ever. Hell, yeah. I'm so glad to see them doing so well. Yeah. You, you saw how they were topping the Steam charts. Yeah, when that's, they came it's out. mad. Yeah. How does that happen? It, it was above Elden Ring for yeah. like a few hours or something. And it was a digital only release in the States. Yeah. Uh, was it 40, 40 bucks, was it? 40 bucks, yeah. Which that's that's a pretty high ask for a digital only game, and yet yeah, they, they did it. And it, it's working. Well, I got Zero Suit Samus. Not sure how I feel about that, but I will uh, do my best. Pac Man World is one that um, I hope does well. But here in the UK, there's one store doing the physical version so it's limited run on from their store oh okay and it's 45 pounds uh, whereas in the states I think it's like a 30 dollar physical release okay, which is a, yeah. that's a great deal it is. Yeah. but uh, we're getting the low end of the stick there I have actually never played Pac-Man World and I'm really oh, excited oh nice. never played it and it, it, it looks delightful yeah it there, there were great. problems though and they are remedy, remedying some of them okay so like in the late game there's some big difficulty spikes and they've just completely redesigned one of the bosses and it looks so much more fun uh huh Okay, nice. I'm really looking forward to trying it because it just looks like a delightful th platformer. Yeah. It's got like the uh, Sonic Adventure 2 bounce as one of the biggest oh, moves. Oh, okay. Which feels nice. great, yeah. I I'm still a little confused though. So it isn't there a whole thing of it where he's saving his family, but isn't his his wife's name Pack Wife? <laughs> Uh, is, 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 is this Pac-Mum? Oh, Pac-Mum, okay. Yeah, Pac-Mum. Pac so, Miss Pac-Man, she's, she's gone. She's I was like, okay, picture. why isn't it Miss Pac-Man? Like, I'm a little confused on the Pac-Man so, family Do you know, do you know what's going on with Miss Pac-Man legally? No, actually. Okay, so, at games, oh. you know the people who make those terrible, like, yes. production, um, uh, like, uh, emulation machines? Yeah. So, the people who own Miss Pac-Man, uh -huh. they sold their rights to at games. Oh. So now, at games own Miss Pac-Man. I so see. Namco okay. can't use the character oh. without paying ad games. I see. And so okay. they're just choosing not to use Miss Pac-Man. So instead That's... we've got instead we've got Pac-Man. But Miss Pac-Man is is an iconic character in her own right. That sucks. Yeah. So uh, Miss Pac-Man, I believe I'm not sure if it's delisted, but Miss Pac-Man uh -huh. is on the PS4 store. Okay. But I'm pre I don't know if it got delisted or not, but um, they can't put in like a compilation though. So they can release re-release it on its own because uh -huh. then ad games get all the revenue okay. or whatever. Whatever. But they can't just include her in like a museum title. They can't include okay. her as a as a cameo character. Right. Yeah. That sucks. I, I was actually always more of a Miss Pac Man fan anyway, because I would always play on those uh, those hacked arcade cabinets. Yeah. That like made <laughs> made her super fast. Yeah. And I always felt that was way more fun than just the regular speed slow Pac Man. And so I just always kind of took more of a liking to Miss Pac Man. That that sucks. Let's make the stream illegal. Uh -oh. And let's show everyone Miss Pac Man. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. Speaking of making, oh what? It's her. Oh, oh man. No. <laughs> what are we gonna do? She doesn't exist. You have to put some like sensor bars over her or something. <laughs> Speaking of an illegal stream, we t we talked about a stream idea we had before we did Smash that we wanted to do, but we couldn't take the chance. Uh, John gave me the chance to play the uh, unreleased version of Goldeneye. Yeah. The, the Xbox remaster of Goldeneye. And oh oh no. I don't even. I won. Okay. Oh, nice. I'll take it. Yeah, we we, we played the uh, yeah 360 remaster of Goldeneye yeah. with the the toggle for the graphics, 60 FPS, and we'd love to just stream it. Uh, just us you playing it. But yeah. Don't know if we can legally though. Yeah, we didn't want to. We didn't want to take the chance. But man, it looks good. I yeah. hope they. I hope they like release it officially soon. Hope so. It's, uh, it's too yeah. good just to sit there. It is. It really is. And I thought they were going to do it during an E3 season, like during the Microsoft it, uh, it Bethesda. Felt like it. I really thought so, but yeah. 
Uh, Brad Conley says Konami Ninjas are on the way. I don't know what they, hopefully not for this Pac-Man, because they don't own the rights. But the Namco Ninjas might be on the way. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. They've had enough. Uh, classy Mudkip, yeah, two or three matches, then Switch would be great. So, yeah, for all of our patrons who are playing with us, please do cycle out every two or three games so other people can get in. Really appreciate it. Are we ready to start this one, or, uh... I think so. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Killamox is here. By the way, Killamox, I, I was gonna, uh, message you earlier. I have, this is, like, ridiculous. I have, uh, your PVR almost ready, your personalized video oh, nice. response. But, and same thing, I had to message Nova, the artist, earlier. I haven't encountered a single, uh, internet connection on all my hotels, airports. Oh, no! That can handle me downloading or uploading like video files so is it on so, your phone right now uh, no, it's not it's oh, on my phone it's on my computer unfortunately but uh but yeah so once i get back home i'm gonna upload that but yeah like i've been on airport wi-fi i'm on a hotel wi-fi and you know how it is when you try to up uh, like download a file yeah on on hotel wi-fi and it'll just go three hours then four uh -huh. then five and it's like well this isn't gonna work <laughs> I'm not uh, the best Yoshi player, but we'll see. Me neither, man. Yoshi, for being my favorite Mario character, I suck with him in Smash. He's fun, but I just can't. I can't play him at all. Well, I'll just I'll just stay over here. All right, hey, it's working out. <laughs> also, can we like just hollow Bastion? Yes. Yeah. Stage yeah what, what are we Smash looking at right That's now? Just, I'm never gonna get used to that. Hollow Bastion is in Smash. The only thing that, like, again, not that I would ever seriously complain, but the only, like, slight disappointment I have about Sora's inclusion in Smash is that there isn't more of a music selection. Uh-huh. This is Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, that's, that's any Square franchise, I know, really. exactly. Like, Dragon Quest was a bit Oh, small. Dragon Quest was really bad. Yeah. Paco Papa 2 Hi, guys. Well, hello, Paco Papa. Hey. Thank you for, for hanging out with us. And thank you to all 255 of you who are currently watching. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much. Uh, just for, oh, go okay. ahead. Oh, I was going to say, especially as this wasn't like a planned... Uh, Not at all. You just, guys just showed up, so thank you so much. Yeah, we weren't exactly sure which day I'd be able to come over and hang out, and it turned uh, out to be today, so we weren't able to plan in advance, so thank you, everybody. And uh, for those of you who may not be aware, uh, we do have a Patreon that you should definitely check out if you like what we do here. It's patreon.com slash gbgaming. And uh, we have a lot of cool perks that we offer all of our patrons. Uh, tiers at every price level, whatever you want to support us at. But uh, even if you can't do that, if you do like what we do here, please do subscribe and like because we're so close to 100k. So close. We're so close. And uh, one thing we've mentioned before, but but that everybody here might not know, is that when we do hit 100k, as you know, or as some some of us know, uh, YouTube sends you a plaque. Yes. But you know, this isn't a one-person effort here at GBG. We're a team, so. Yeah, we're getting a plaque from YouTube, but we're springing for five more for the whole crew. Because we would never have made it here, or and we're never, you know, we, who knows how far, how high we'll go. But none of it happens without all of us. So we're springing for five more plaques. This is shared success. This is not a one-man show by any means. No, no way. Yeah. Killamox says, no Kingdom, Her Kingdom Hearts 2 tracks hurts me. Yeah. Kingdom Hurts. King Kingdom, Kingdom Hurts, hurts, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, David VA says, Did you know that Yoshi's only CG appearance in the Smash trailers is as a motionless trophy in Sora's trailer? Is that right? Wow. Ah. I wouldn't have thought that, but yeah. Yeah, I can't think of... Yeah, you're right, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Huh. This is such a better Final Smash than oh, what we yeah. had before. Way better. What, what was it, like a Dragon Yoshi last it was, time? Yeah, Super yeah. Dragon Yoshi, yeah. Which was, you know, a fun Mario World reference, but... Yeah. It was more Mario World than Yoshi. Yeah, right. Yeah. And this, they got the dive to the heart thing. That's just, that's so cool. <laughs> just I'm pretend never... there's no Disney characters there. I know, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, it like, this is, you know, Kingdom Hearts is known not only for its music, but especially its battle themes. Yeah. And to get, you know, basically nothing out of Kingdom Hearts 1 really hurts. Oh, by, by Mithra. It's just wild that Mickey Mouse is in this game in some I know. capacity. Like, in, in that's wild, way, yeah. yeah. Okay, so so far I've been I've been getting by watching the uh, the chaos unfold. I've not been contributing to this fight much at all. So now it's one on one. I'm scared. All right, you got this. You got this. It's a pretty even match. It won't be for long. <laughs> <laughs> Grant and I actually Grant is one of our, uh, one of our fighter founder patrons, and uh, uh, they and I recently had a really fun uh, fighter founder session of Smash. Just playing a bunch of Smash together. It was a lot of fun. 
It's a close, it's a close match, only 10% uh, between you two now. Oh, nice throw, nice throw. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm always so scared when I have to get, when I have to recover his cloud and I don't have a limit Clim Hazard. Uh -huh. I only have a regular Clim Hazard. I'm like, oh, am I going to make it? Oh, man, this is close, you guys. 15% uh, between you two. We get Now just four. I'm loving the movement here. This is a uh, close match. Ooh. Oh! Look at Grant. Grant just dashing back and forth. Grant's movement is really good. I remember that from our session. Oh, oh nice. Okay. Oh, almost got with the forward air. Not quite. Oh, here we uh -oh. go. Here we uh -oh. go. Limit break on deck. What's it going to be? Oh, oh two limit oh, breaks on deck. Oh. There it is. That might be it. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's probably it, yeah. That's got to be it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Good game. Nice. All right. Was that two games from us? So we should probably go back into the, uh, the waiting room. Uh, yeah, we can. Yeah, let's do it. Although I guess they're here to play with us. That's also a good point. We could stay in. Yeah, let's stay in. All right. I'll let you uh, take the, the ropes, though. All right. Let's see what we get on random this time. Brandon Bovey, that was my second thank match. You so I'm much. Gonna thank you, Brandon. Thank you so much. Nail biters is classy mud. Kick. That was a good one. Yeah. That was a good one. All right. So I'm against Killamox, Mace Face, and Grant. All right. Oh, two Zeldas. I don't know if I. You sure you don't want to take this? Oh, no, I'm okay. I don't know if I want to do this anymore. River the D says, random question. Since I'm playing it right now, what are your thoughts on Kirby's Mass Attack? It's weirdly disturbing, but also really fun. Yeah. I really liked it. It's been a while since I've played it, but um, yeah. I, I remember enjoying it. Though. I liked it. Yeah. Uh, oh man, alright, it's time for me to at least try and tip the scales here. I this got is rotten. terrifying. Yeah, I don't really... <laughs> oh uh, god! I already don't want to do this. This is all, already awful. Okay. Alright, so everyone just chill while I, I, uh, charge up a Thoron. Don't, don't bother me here. No, no, Mace Face. I said let me charge up a Thoron. That's not letting me do anything. Jessica's gonna <laughs> dip for a bit, but they'll come back later if they can. Alright, so well, much. thank you so much. Uh, Nervian says, fun fact, the PAL name for Kirby's Squeak Squad is Kirby's Mouse Attack. That's true. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> I did not know that. We also call um, Kirby's Return to Dreamland Kirby's Adventure Wii. That I knew, yeah. which I will say, I think I think the U.S. wins the name. Yeah, you definitely one. won that, yeah, that one. <laughs> wow, nice finishing touch, Grant. That d just absolutely destroyed me. Ooh. Uh, not Jason says, Ash, what do you think of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories? Um, I love the story. Don't like the gameplay at all. Never have been a fan of the battle system. I don't tend to love oh, uh, card-based systems much at all to be, in, yeah. in most games. I've never been a, a fan of card-based battle systems ever, really, in any context, mm. sadly. That's not saying they're bad. They're just not for me. Yeah. I think I would have been a little bit more okay with it if it had been more like Mega Man Battle Network, where your standard attack is not tied to a card. Yeah. Like, in Battle Network, you know, the Mega Buster is just a regular move that you can do any time. And I think if, like, Keyblade attacks are something you can do any time, That'd be a little better, but the fact that even basic keyboard swings are tied to cook cards, I just never like that. I want to play Bates and Kaitos, because I, I know that's a card-based game, but it's just it's a big gap in my Monolith Soft uh, right. history. And it it just doesn't really do anything for me, though. Same. Oh no, that Zelda Final Smash. Um, Nerbian, yeah, not even the GBA version. I, I still beat it. I beat it on both uh, uh, GBA and PS2, but I just don't enjoy the battle system. I just don't. And I think it's also the biggest risk to any, like, Kingdom Hearts, like, any first-time uh, player, like, playing through the entire series. Because, you know, it, it comes after Kingdom Hearts 1. But Chain of Memories is largely a retread of all the worlds you just played in Kingdom Hearts 1. So if you're trying to play through the whole series, I feel like Chain of Memories often contributes to a lot of early burnout. Mm -hmm. Which is really a shame, because there's so much to love about the series. So the uh, Chain of Memories PS2 version didn't come out here. So our, our first one was the HD uh, mm -hmm. remaster. Mm -hmm. So the thing, the GBA was the only version that we got. Oh, right. Okay, right. I forgot that that didn't come out here. Right. Oh God, no, no. Oh, I got out of. I somehow got out of it. Okay, nice. But can I survive? I that meteor in the background looks so good. It does. Yeah. It's just visually one of my favorite things in the game. This is this is a stage for Final Fantasy VII fans. Uh -huh. Like. The, the Midgar stage, like, if you play Final Fantasy VII, you know Midgar. Yeah. If you've played the whole thing, like, this yeah. is just a, a big uh, service to everyone. Like, the background, Meteor, 
just going through the cavern is so good. Yeah, it's so good. Oh, um, oh, got you, Killmox. Not enough, though. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. No, get away, get away, get away. Did it oh. miss? No, no! God, no! Oh! Jeez! Oh, I don't think I've seen a Zelda Final Smash miss before. That's. <laughs> oh my god. That's nuts. That, that's just way too scary. It's ability to just suck you in. Oh, I got you. Okay. All right, here gotcha, we go. Here Stay we go. Nice face. Oh no, I'm out of uh, arc fire. Oh Ooh. god. I'm out of arc fire. Oh god. Your final smash isn't too far off though. Just stick in there. You should All be. Right. Oh. Ho. Get stuck in. Just a few more hits. Oh. Nice. Okay. Nice. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. A little bit more. You're so close oh, to your final god. smash. No! Oh, here you go, here you go! Ew. God! Oh! The L wind is gonna do it! Okay, okay this not. is it, this is it! Yes, there it is. Crom's got it! Crom's Ooh. got it! What a match! Holy crap! It was so funny during the speculation phase, people oh. were like, this person can't be in there in assist trophy. Yeah. Then Crom is part of this, right. he's part of the final smash, he's a me costume. He was an enigma that no one could I break. I know. I loved all the all the uh, rules that people try to come up <laughs> yeah, with. Like, yeah, all yeah. the rules of Smash characters. Yeah. Yeah. Man, if if Elwyn had been the kid, the killing blow though, that would have killed me. Oh yeah. Like I I don't think I've ever seen Elwyn kill. It's rare. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Hey, uh, Bookworm, Miranda, and Mole or Mowl or. Oh now. hey. Yeah. <laughs> man, I'm a Taniac. No way! <laughs> I can't believe I won that one. I am not a Robin player at all. Right, who have we got here? Oh, ten bucks. Hey, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm to know. I'm gonna mess this name up. I'm so sorry. Gilver Mazariegos or Gilver Mazariegos. I hope I got that right. With ten dollars, thank you so much. Uh, so happy to see your YouTube channel grow. First a hundred k, and soon after the one million mark. Keep up the good content. <laughs> that'd soon be, that'd after, be nice. Soon after, it'll just be a few more weeks after a hundred k. Yeah, yeah. A million. Thank you so much. Uh, we couldn't do it without all of you and you as well, uh, Yilver, Jilver. I'm so sorry, but thank you so much. Uh, I'd imagine Yilver. Yilver. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we couldn't do it without you and every single one of you. So thank you very much. Thanks so much, Grant, for dropping out for now. But, uh, yeah, feel free to come back in later if we're still playing. And, uh, yeah, no, this has been so fun. Thanks for hanging out with us, everybody. Yeah, thank you so much. And this is, like, yeah, this is the first time I've seen you in person since 2019. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to picture when the last time was, but it was E3. And yeah. that was three years ago at this point. And then prior to that, we never, as long as we did GX together, we never got to do anything together That was the person. first time that I ever saw any time. of you guys, yeah. So... Let's just hope that Repop does E3 right next year. It actually brings it back as a proper show. It gets you out there. And uh, we can we can party in LA again. Oh, oh god! Is oh, they're alive! Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh, no, I fear this. Oh, no. Just, uh, yeah. oh, yeah. All, every, okay, not Mudkip, two of you, but. So how do you feel about Kazuya? How do you, are you feel I like, love Kazuya. Oh, do you? Okay. Yeah. I can't, of all the fighting game characters in this game, I feel like he's the one I'm worst with. But I still enjoy him. Oh, oh no! Oh, no. What? what happened? That was weird. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I'm, I'm a bit too early with that one. Oh, okay. Let That's me so down. Weird. Let me down. Let me kill you all. <laughs> I can't remember how this one hits. Like that, there apparently. Yeah. Okay. Whoa! One thing I was really happy to like to see with Kazuya is all the music that got in with yes. him. Yes. Because like I feel uh, like Tekken music isn't necessarily something that maybe a lot of Smash's usual fan base knows a lot about. Sure, yeah. And Tekken has some of the best electronic music and trance in video games. Like, and and you know that now if you've listened through all of the music in Smash, uh, Tekken has such good music. I was telling you earlier, I always have uh, my lobby music for Smash set to one of the Tekken 6 themes, because my wife loves trance. And there's a really, well, there are a few really good trance songs in Tekken, but there's one in particular she really loves. And I just always keep my lobby music on that. Whenever um, a new Smash character comes out, I love just to be more familiar with their games. Yeah. Um, and with most of Ultimate, I was familiar, like, just first-hand. Right. And with Tekken, I played a lot of Tekken, but I never played the first one. So yeah. as soon as Kazuya was announced, I just ordered a copy of Tekken 1. Yep. Uh, played th it, it's it's a really funny game to go back to, but um, it's uh -huh. it's great, though. I love the uh, the CG yeah. in Tekken 1 and, and like the faces. They're so cheesy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Wataniac. Poolside is so good. Yeah, it is. And, and Yoko Shibamura's remix of it. Oh, God. Oh, no, Fantastic. no, Zelda, no, oh, Zelda, oh, please! No. 
Because my first Tekken, like most people I imagine, was Tekken 3. Yeah. Mine was Tekken 2, but Tekken 3 was the one I played most. My dad and I used to play a lot of Tekken 3 together. That was a lot of fun. I have good memories of that. Sebastian Valenzuela says, Moonlit Wilderness, Abyss of Time, and Karma are all bangers. Yep. Moonlit Wilderness is the one I believe that uh, I always have on because my wife loves it so much. <laughs> what Taniac? Donkey Oh, oh no! Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Oh, uh -oh. oh no! All right, down to I'm, uh, I'm so, you and Miranda. This is nearly it. They might have just. Yeah, they got it. <laughs> nice. Nice. Good game, Miranda. Uh, which Haniac says, Donkey's videos on Tekken are great, too. They are. I I would just say, I would take on Tekken out of that sentence and just say Donkey's videos are great. I love when Donkey gets analytical, because he's, yeah. he's a very smart man. Really um, smart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And whenever he does, like, proper reviews, he, he, he talks in a way that very few other people on YouTube do. Um, Agreed. More about feelings than, um, like, uh, they, a lot of reviews, like, it's the back of the box, like, oh, this, this happened, here's the story of this game. Donkey yeah. doesn't do that. He just kind of tells how he feels about it, which yeah. I love. Yeah, no, and, like, because of so many of his other videos are, like, humor and, like, yeah. kind of shit-posty focused, you wouldn't know, if you're not familiar with his content, that he is so analytical yeah. and has that kind of mind. But Absolutely. then he'll do his reviews, and you're like, whoa, you're... He, I love his content. Yeah. I love... Uh, I'd love to get him on, on GBG Cast one day or something. If we can, I don't, yeah. even, know, I don't, I don't even know who we are, but... <laughs> Probably not. That would be awesome <laughs> if we could. All right. Oh, I was like, please... I, I was like, did I get Villager? Please, no. Okay, I got Bowser. I'm all right with that. Uh, Mario three sixty four asks if I watch Moist Critical. Uh, no, and that that name is, is something else. I'm not familiar with them. Yeah. Uh, oh, it sucks. We got we got King of Fighters Stadium, but it's the Battlefield uh, version. Oh no! Oh, that's so close. That's such a oh, that's such a tip tickling moment. Like you just you're so close to. Oh. Sorry, Kirby. I don't want to. I don't want to hurt you or my baby, but I can't. That Alpha Lion says he hates JRPGs but loves Persona Five. My Dragon Quest. Well, I mean, that's that's all you need. That's true. Yeah, I don't. I, there are some of his takes that I certainly don't agree with. Yeah. I mean, I love his content, but he does hate JRPGs and he hates Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. And, like, I can't. <laughs> I can't get with that, but I respect his opinion. I mean, that's the thing. If someone doesn't like a game I like, I'm not like, oh, I hate that no, guy. No, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like again with with his Splatoon Two review, I didn't love that either. But at uh -huh. the same time, it doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. No, life's too short to get angry at people for their opinions on video games. Yeah. It's like... There's definitely more important things in the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no! I, th I didn't let snap! I didn't oh, let no. snap! Oh, uh, no! Not Jason asks, Ash, are you okay? I don't... I think yeah? it's probably a King of Fighters reference. Oh, oh, okay. oh yeah, yeah, are you okay? I was like, I'm fine. <laughs> Unless he's just worried about you. I was like, you. I'm fine, I don't know why. I'm totally good. I mean, how couldn't I be? I'm here with John. I'm great. Top Dog says, I'm not an RPG fan, but I'm interested in playing Mega Man Battle Network. Oh, well, you'll get too soon with the Legacy Collection. Very soon. Well, I say very soon. It's it's next year, right? Yeah, which seems weird, yeah. right? Like, that's... Because it's a collection of, like, you know, GBA games, I would think they would, like, announce that when it was a little closer release. It just seems... And, and we've been waiting so long for anything on the Mega Man front that it's yeah. just surprising that it's going to be still next year, but, you know, that's all right. Uh, Pr Prime Nerd says, how are you feeling about Xenoblade Chronicles 3 coming out so soon? Now, I've been very uh, purposefully avoiding all media. So I watched the direct just because we we're sort of reacting to that. Mm -hmm. But when they post, like, songs on their Twitter, I don't want to see a single note of that song. Uh -huh. Or hear a, a single note. Yeah. I don't want to look into any trailers, any character reveals, any character over overlays or anything. I don't want to see any of it. Miranda's doing some ridiculous nonsense yeah. with Villager here. But I am very excited for it. Um, I'm gonna, yeah. it's, I want to experience it all myself, though. Um, and so I, I think my, my hype probably doesn't reflect that of someone who's kept up with everything. Mm -hmm. But when, I, when I'm in the moment, I know I'm going to love it. I think I'm in the middle. Like, I'm definitely excited for it. There's no doubt about that. I, but I'm more, I'm more excited about Live Alive, so I'm going to play that first. Uh, the thing about Xenoblade is that like I love the first game, but I'm kind of back and forth on the second. Uh huh. And so I think it's just how much I end up liking three. I think is going to depend on how much of its gameplay is more like two versus one. Because I didn't like two's battle system. And I know that's okay. not a popular opinion. I know that every time I say that, you're like, "What's wrong with you?" I get it, but I just I didn't like two's battle system. I just didn't like it. There's aspects of two where I'm like, I hope someone doesn't walk into the room right now. That's true. <laughs> but I, I did love two though. Um, I think 
I, I, I don't love all the moments, but um, I think the character, the, the cast is just really likable, uh, and by the end, you do start to feel really emotionally attached to them. They do, yeah, for sure. Uh, Except for Tora. Tora yeah! <laughs> Poppy, though. Poppy has some Poppy's amazing great. moments. No, I think Tora's really the only character I don't like him to. Yeah. I just, he was so, he's such a creeper, and I just, like, I can't get with that. Also, is Miranda really about to three-stock all of us? I th oh my god, yeah! I think so. Look at this! Yeah. Your, your villager is just, okay. Okay, at least, okay, no three-stock at least. Still could be a JV three-stock, we'll see. Oh, no. No! <laughs> Oh man, one of the most annoying matchups in this game, and one of the most like not fun to play or watch. Oh, oh that's nice. Not, enough. not still not enough because it's villager. Is uh, Mega Man versus villager? It's such an obnoxious matchup. Uh huh. We've got oh! we've got some Tora defenders in here. Really? Dat Alpha Lion says Tora slander. <laughs> New agree retro noob. Tora is great. Uh, and Zalman's here. Hey, some nice smashing going on. Hey. Says Zal. Yes, there are, is indeed. All right, at least I at least I got you halfway. Not, in your not second a three stock. stock yeah. yeah, not quite. Good games, Miranda. Yeah. Your villager is wild. Ah, uh, I just got a text from my wife. Gonna take a nap. Love you. I love you too, baby. And I can't wait to see you on Thursday. I miss you terribly. Like I said, that's been the hardest part about being here for so long. Uh -huh. It's just ah. Uh... Well, we've been going for uh, how long now? Let's see. Uh, does, it, does it tell us? Uh, does it not really tell I us? I don't think yet? it does. I think we started at 5, we started at so five. we're coming towards the 2 hour mark. Yeah. But we'll keep it going for a little bit longer. Yeah. Uh, Brick Room Arcade says, Tora nearly made me quit Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Yeah, it's like, pretty much any scene with Tora is the kind of scene you don't want anybody walking in yeah. and seeing you playing. It's like, no, I promise this whole game isn't like this. Although I love that Bayonetta 3 has a mode that like, it lets, it lets you, if you want to, turn right. off the, the nudity. What's it called? It, Naive Angel mode? That's, that's it, so yeah. good. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, it, it's it's cool that it's there, and I can't see why anyone would get mad at an option for that, but mm. uh, they have. <laughs> uh, E-List uh, asks, Ash, have you played Torna? It streamlined the battle system quite a bit and made it flow much better. And yes, I've heard, everybody oh, tells oh, me oh, that. Torna's so good, And yeah. I never got a chance to play Torna, but everyone tells me that I would like it a lot more from a game. You'd love the battle theme. I'm not, not sure if you've I've heard, heard it. It's oh, so I jazzy, yeah. yeah. No, it's in Smash as well, but I oh, definitely right. heard it. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. But no, I, I wanted to play Torna, I just never really got a chance. Um, but I've, I've heard that, that it really... And you actually get to play as the Blades. Yes. Which is great. Much faster than 2's battle system. Which is, yeah. And I think for me, I, I might have I had a really just bad first impression with Xenoblade 2's battle system, because the first time I played it was at PAX West in a closed-door appointment with sure. Nintendo. Yeah, yeah. And, you know... Not, not the best environment for... They dropped me into the game and then yeah. I had one of their reps explaining all these systems to me on That's the fly. That's not what you want, yeah. And I'm like, eh, I don't like it's this. It's a lot. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but I totally get that it is a really nuanced, great multi-layered battle system for people who love it. I'm not saying it sucks. It's just not my thing. Um, and I just preferred ones. And I think I just preferred ones... Almost everything, like just... one's a lot more grounded. I feel like um, yeah, uh, it, it can't be a ton. Like sometimes it really gets out there, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, I, I love both. Yeah, but yeah, no, I mean, and two definitely has its merits, and I'm I'm certainly gonna play three, and I'm excited for it. I just I think Live Alive is higher on my. Zal says I'm the weirdo who prefers Xenoblade Chronicles. X has so many great merits. Mm -hmm. Don't don't call yourself a weirdo for that. <laughs> I never played X because I'm not being, uh, as much into open world stuff. Sure. Like oh, like it, it felt like very much like an offline MMO to me. From yeah, what yeah. I, the little I played, I can it. get that. But uh, kind of the same reason I'm not a big fan of FF12. But... I'm, I'm not a big fan of FF12 either. Yeah, to be honest. I never liked it. Never liked it. Yeah. But, um. Yeah. X has so many good qualities though. It, yeah, one day, it one day it'll be it'll be free from Wii U prison. Not today though. Yeah, and I did read about because I knew I was never going to actually play X, so I read about the story and like all the spoilers and stuff. Uh -huh. Really cool plot twists. Like, yeah. Holy crap! What a cool story, especially for a game in which you know you're. I've never been a whole like a big fan of like avatars where you're, like your player character isn't a character. Sure. But still, the early way game spoiler. That's it. not a late game spoiler, by the way. That's no, fairly, it's not. fairly early on. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I yeah. thought that was just kind of a. You kind of learn that from the very beginning. It's a little bit in there, but not oh, too okay, far fair in. Enough. But there, there are there are much more layers to that than, right. than it much seems initially. More. Yeah. And uh, the ending, though, not to spoil the ending, but the ending uh, it's is wild. Yeah. Also, it doesn't quite yeah. resolve everything you'd want to see. Um, it feels like there should be a sequel or more to it, but there isn't. Right. Yeah, because I like given what I know, the the, the cliffhanger it ends on. Yeah. There should be a sequel. Yeah, it feels like there should be. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm not a great Bowser Jr. player, so I'm pretty happy with my performance here. Mm -hmm. Bowser Jr. is fun, though. He is. Uh oh, oh, just me and Zelda. Oh, oh good one. All right, nice back air. Uh, Sebastian Valenzuela asks, am I the only crazy person who wants Yoshi's Woolly World before Xenoblade X on Switch? No, you're not. No. I would love them to port Woolly World to Switch because straight up, that ass, that's, that, if, if it isn't the maybe secret best Yoshi game, it's definitely the second oh, best yeah, Yoshi yeah. game. Woolly World is, is truly excellent. Crafted World was nowhere near. Not even close. Nowhere near. Not even close. <laughs> Woolly World was so disappointing. Sorry, uh, Crafted World was so yeah. disappointing compared. And Woolly World, like, that's one of the best platformer soundtracks ever. It, it's so good, yeah. It is the bit, like, the most chill game. Yeah. Oh. I'm not a huge fan of any Yoshi game that isn't Island, mm -hmm. but I love Woolly World as well. Um, yeah. But every other game, it just, it just kind of feels like an, an iteration or an attempt to replicate Island. Yeah. Whereas Woolly World feels like the only one that really tries to be itself. Yeah. I agreed. guess Crafted World does too, but not to the same level. And like, I, I liked Crafted World just fine, but it just didn't stick with me the same way. Like, I didn't hate it, but it didn't... Woolly World stood out to me in every way. Yeah. As something really special. Then the 3DS got Woolly World... Oh, what was it called? Um, was it just called Woolly World? It's like an yeah. expanded port which, which had oh, like, the, uh, the Yoshi pups in there. Uh, it was yeah, Yoshi and Poochie's. That's it, Woolly and Poochie's right. Woolly yeah. World, yeah. Which was okay, you know, it was a pretty good port. It was weird that the 3DS got so many Wii U games, though. Like mm. Captain Toad, Hyrule Warriors. Yeah. And a lot of those were like, quite late, in, when, when the Switch was out, it right. was getting Wii U ports. Uh, oh God, I got Ganondorf on 3DS Captain characters. Toad is wild, by the way, because you got all the Odyssey levels in there, too. So you got, you got uh -huh. like, New Donk on the 3DS. Oh, right, uh-huh. Oh, God, I'm so bad with Ganondorf. Also, what is it with, like, we're getting the Battlefield versions of some of the best stages in the game. Yeah. It's wounding me. Oh, kill Mox, you know I'm playing Ganondorf. Why would you do that to me, man? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Oh, God, I, I can't do shit as Ganondorf. Oh, my God. Dalfa Lion says Wii U was dying. Was Wii U ever alive? Yeah. It was a life in Nintendo Land, and then it, it sadly... I like the Wii U. I, I don't, I don't oh, want to yeah. talk too, too poorly of the Wii U, but it was never really thriving, was it? No, it definitely wasn't. I, uh, But you know, it'll always be the system that gave me Mega Man and Smash on That's console. true, yeah. So, you know, it'll, it'll always have a special place in my heart for that. Shoutouts to some Wii U games. Pull Blocks World, or Pushmo World. Yeah. I love that series, and it's so sad that they're all going to disappear soon when the eShop goes down. Uh, we also got the NES Remix series, again. Why didn't so they good. do more of that? Yeah. Port that to Switch, it, and then do an SNES Remix it's, it, That seemed like the obvious next step. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. No, I, and I mean, you know, no, Wii U definitely had its merits. It gave us Wind Waker HD. Yep. You know, which is, I still think it's the, the best version of my favorite 3D Zelda. I know Twilight Princess HD isn't held to the same regard, but I still think it's really good. Yeah. I gave it, 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 it made the pace of Twilight Princess a bit better. Faster swimming, faster climbing, right. a fewer tiers of light to collect. It, it just made it a, a neater game. Yeah. Uh, what else? Um, Maiden of Blackwater had Samus and Zelda uh, yeah. costumes, which the ports don't. Which, you know, despite a really, really, really messed up plot twist in, in Fatal Frame, I really liked that game. Yeah, me too. I really thought it was a good horror game. Well, what Wii U games were there? <laughs> I know. Oh, R Rodea the Sky Soldier. Wii U game, not great. Right. But the Wii game, which came in the same box, was fantastic. Right. And uh, it gave us the original Mario Maker, which I still think is a better game. It was a more Mario impactful game. Yeah. Like, um, even if Wii U wasn't a very popular platform, I think even in the social dynamics, Mario Maker 1 had this ripple, which, which 2 didn't. Yeah. Like, on Twitch, you'd see Mario Maker streams, which I mean, you still do with 2, but not to the same extent. Yeah. Oh, I, I got out of it. Nice. Hey, it took him a rod sessions. It got Switch port, but still, it was a great game. Yeah. Absolutely. That's from Kits, who uh, suggested that. Uh, you know what? Alpha Lion, he says, how, asked how messed up, like, third birthday bad? It's It gets shockingly close how yeah. fucked up the plot twist. And, and yeah, I know, you know which one I'm talking about, right, John? Yep, yep, yeah. yep. It's probably not quite as bad as third birthday, because that one just... Zalman's got the best call out ever. Okay. Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Ooh, Wii U Edition. Yep. Still active. I did a video on Nintendo Life for like still the, active. the active online Wii U games. Wow. People were still playing Tekken I Tag Tournament 2. Never would have known. Such a great game. Like every character in that game has a, has a costume. You can have like Kazuya as Link or was it, Ga was it Gandalf? But uh, every, every single character has a Nintendo yeah. costume. It's yeah. so well done. Got the mushroom mode. You've got. Right. Yeah. 
great, great Wii U port. What else? I'm trying to think about Game and Wario. Game and Wario, yeah. Yeah, had its merits. Which also had its merits, yeah. yeah for sure. <laughs> I'm just peering at the Wii U games right now. Um, Give us, it gave us Sonic Lost World. It did, which which the only the first half of that game I maintain is. I think it's pretty good, yeah. The, but then when you get to the ice world, everything from then on, yeah. the level design just takes a giant dump. It's just yeah. I don't think it's as atrocious as people make it out to be, but it is not a flawless yeah. game by any means. Oh, uh, speaking of the devil, it's Sonic. There we go. I hey, wish, it's I, me. I wish I was better as Sonic and Smash, but I'm not. I wish his move set was cooler in Smash. Yeah. Like, also we we another stage we got a, the Battlefield version of a really cool. Oh one. yeah. Um. Yeah, Sonic's like I don't like that Sonic has like three different spin dashes. Yeah, he has so much other stuff he can do. I just as as like for how much I love Sonic as a character, I hate playing him in Smash. Uh -huh. I just don't like the way he feels. Do you know what's cool on Wii U? Um, Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed had a five-player mode. Yep, and one of them had asymmetric multiplayer in them. And that is still one of the best racers of all time. Oh yeah. I actually, and, and I know Derek has co-signed with me on this before, I actually think it's better than Mario Kart 8. I can see that. I, I actually do. Mario Kart 8's amazing, don't get me wrong. But Sonic Transformed, what a game. Yeah. I want them to remaster it. Like, it's nice playing it with FPS boost on Xbox Series X, but if they did a proper remaster of that game... All the PC and characters content, in there, yeah. All the PC <laughs> characters. Like... Man, properly remaster that game with modern assets. Yeah. Oh, dude. It wasn't fair for Team Sonic Racing to have to follow that. No. They, they clearly weren't given the scope that they should have had for that no. game. And it, it's still, it it's still a kind of fun game and, and great music, unsurprisingly. But it was could not compare to no. Transformed. And uh, good one, Ryan. Kirby and the Rainbow Cru uh, Rainbow Curse. Oh yeah. Paintbrush. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Slash paintbrush, and while I didn't like it as much as Canvas Curse, no. um, I still liked it. But I think that's a better game as a spectator, because when you're playing it, you have to you look got this at, at that low game res pad, game pad. Yeah, and it's like it's a, it's a beautiful game. Yeah, stunning. But you can't really enjoy it like that. Uh, I don't know if I agree with this one. Mario 364 says Star Fox Zero. I didn't. I, didn't, I like Star Fox Zero. I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was amazing, but I did yeah. like it. I think it's just it wasn't what I want from Star Fox. I, I like it when Star Fox gets get, Star Fox gets weird uh -huh. and really leans into the furry space opera. <laughs> yeah, like Command. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and like and like yeah, Command exactly. Like I wanted to see them lean into whatever canon ending of Command they wanted to go with and just keep the drama going. Yeah. All that dumb shit like Crystal breaking up with Fox and turning oh, your name into. Can we got a disconnect from oh, someone no, there? Oh no! Finally. It's Whereas uh, yeah, if they're, they're just chasing sixty four again, which yeah, is, it was just Star yeah. Fox sixty four again. And I'm like, no, well, I, you know, I want Fox and Falco joining the G Zero unit because he's heartbroken and can't deal with being a all that dumb. I, I love when Star Fox leans into its weirdness. Yeah, someone left. Yeah. Okay, oh well. Right. Well, let's just say we're all winners. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, what other Wii U games were there? There's a few. Oh man, Rayman Legends was really good. Oh Rayman, of course. Yeah, Rayman. Which, are, which is now in everything, but yeah. um. The Wii U version still has the nice gamepad features, which right. Vita has as well. I think Switch has them too, in in, uh, t in handheld mode. Uh-huh. Let's see... The first Splatoon still has value, and there's like seven maps which didn't come to two. Right. The wonderful 101. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that did get ported, but I think um, the yeah. Wii U one, like, using the gamepad still has a lot of value in there. Let's see... Oh, the GBA, the, the Virtual Console GBA version of Mario Brothers 3. Mario Advance yeah. 4. All the e-reader levels in there. Oh, Moon Knight, Zombie U. I, I love Zombie oh, U. No. Oh, no. Oh, jeez, I just completely SD'd. Speaking of Zombie U. For some reason, I thought I was uh, Greninja. I don't know why I thought that. I got the uh, the Wii U Zombie U limited edition at launch. I, I think this might be Europe exclusive, maybe. But nice. I think you guys got Nintendo Land. We got Zombie U for some reason. Oh, uh-huh. And you know, Nintendo Land was a, was really fun in in certain contexts. Yeah, I didn't love it. Uh, I didn't love all of it, but the parts that hit really hit. My partner and I, um, we played Mario Chase and Luigi's Mansion all uh -huh. the time in Nintendo Land. Yeah, that just those chase games were so fun. The chase games were really fun. I agreed, and I really liked the uh, the Metroid one. Oh yeah, the that's Metroid really good. Fun. Yeah, yeah, one of the best Metroid spinoffs, I'd say. Yeah. Have we been playing on Battlefield mode the whole time? I think so. I don't think I even realized that until earlier. Or, or until now. I thought we'd gotten some regular versions of stages, but I guess not. Oh yeah, do you remember when Legends got delayed on Wii U? Uh, it, was, it was meant to be a launch title. Uh -huh. And they delayed it for other platforms for like a year. This is another character I really wish I enjoyed playing, but don't. Diddy. 
I just like I love yeah. him as a character. But I just don't really enjoy playing him. And also Dixie still got robbed. She deserves to be in this game so much. That's another character that I would adore. Yeah. Not as a Diddy Echo either. Dixie can be her own. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah definitely her own character for sure. Also, I SD'd at the very beginning. For some reason I lost track of my character, so I'm about to get knocked out here. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh, nice. Everyone but me. I'm cool with that. Do you know another, another cool virtual console game was um, uh, Drill Dozer? And one of the reasons oh, yeah. for that is it didn't come out in Europe, mm -hmm. which means it didn't get localized to German and Spanish and all those other European languages. Uh -huh. Whereas um, they, actually, they actually did a localization back in the day, but didn't release it for some reason. Right. So on Virtual Console, they finally released the European version, meaning anyone who's French or German or Spanish or Italian could play Drill Dozer mm -hmm. in their language. And that's awesome. That's really cool. And we also got a uh, duck hunt with a Wii Remote pointer. Oh right! Oh, I forgot about that. That did happen. That was really cool. Oh, and Earthbound. Yeah, of course, Earthbound. Earthbound, Earthbound. Beginnings finally got released. Yeah. yeah, and that was also like really the first return of Earthbound as well. If it, it felt like three was coming, they're like, here's did. here's Earthbound, here's Mother One. What's well, next? And we now pretty much like unofficially know oh, yeah. that it was done and it's sitting on a shelf somewhere at Nintendo, but they decided not to actually release it. Like, I, I always believed Emily Rogers is, like, I believe that she was right about that and that just plans change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what happens when you SD at the very beginning. Uh, I've got a good vibes game person in here saying I played Yoshi's Island DS for the first time on Wii U Virtual Console. Is this Derek? I don't know. Or, it, that, it might be Daniel or Brandon. I hope it's one of us. <laughs> hopefully, yeah. I really hope it's yeah, one of hopefully. us. Hopefully. Is it Brandon? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, who is it? Please I, I want to say it's, I want to say it's Daniel. I'm, yeah, I'm going to say Daniel. Daniel. Yeah. Is that you, Daniel? <laughs> how, should, how scared should we be right now? I know. I'm a little concerned. Steve Steve uses punctuation like that, though. He does. He so does. it might be Steve. Steve loves periods, yeah. Yeah. And I know that because I also like punctuation. So. Yeah. Alpha Lion thinks it's Brandon. I really hope it's one of us. Yes. <laughs> please, please be one of us. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Who is it? Who are you? I feel like you're choosing chaos by not just coming out and telling <laughs> us exactly. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> and now they're not saying anything. I'm terrified. DJ Bovey, it's me. Classy Mucket, it's me. I am the good vibes gaming. <laughs> A lot of people think it's Brandon. Okay, it's Brandon. Oh, it's okay. Brandon! Woo! Brandon doesn't use punctuation. Not usually, I don't think. No, not like that. Oh, that scared me. <coughs> Brandon, wish you were here, man. Just hop a flight, dude. Yeah, come here. Get over here. Come yeah. here, please. Yeah, just, you know, no big deal. It's probably only, what, like 3,000 day of? Something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is close. We got, okay, real Miranda's close. Greninja with Mox's uh, Mithra. This is really close. Only about 5% between the two. Ooh, that Clang. I love it. Clang? Did you say Clang? Oh. Oh! oh the lightning buster! The fully charged light. That's not it. That's not enough, Wait. though. Wait. Oh, my God. Mithra really? doesn't really hit hard. Holy crap. Okay. Come on. Oh, oh, missing the final smash just barely. Oof. It's all it uh, takes is, man. I don't know if I if I was Mox, I'd probably cho uh, switch to Pyro right now, because one light tap from Pyro would be enough to send Greninja flying. Lazy Rococo uh, said Mario Party Ten uh, four different times, so they they quite uh, well. They, uh, I was never a big fan of Mario Party Ten. I I love the um. The idea of asymmetric Bowser, but yeah. I, did, I didn't love the execution of it though. Better than Mario Party Nine. Yeah, I will give it that. Not, yeah, not, 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 nine, not high praise, but yeah, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He'll be here nice. in fifteen hours. Okay. Also, good win, uh, Miranda. Very nice. <laughs> but yeah, Mario Party Ten. Yeah. 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 Speaking of Mario Party, when are we gonna get uh, DLC oh, for uh, yeah. Superstars? It, it, we've been asking that like, question since Super, but like, yeah. you think it'd be so easy, not easy, but so uh, obvious. obvious. And it, it was data mined. Yeah, yeah. There were like references to DLC data mined. Also, we have a Super Jetty one. From Ilver again, uh, five dollars. Xenoblade X was an amazing game. My favorite character was Lau, and his theme song is so beautiful. It's my favorite track in all the Xenoblade series. Yeah, nice. It's it's a really special game, um, mm -hmm. and I wish more people more people could play it. One day, hopefully, they will. Mm -hmm. But it seems they're focusing just solely on the core series right now. But um, X is a really really special game. Yeah. Also, I guess this would technically count because I think it was the lead console. I think it's what it came out on first, but Shovel Knight. 
Yeah, Shovel Knight was sure. like, and, and one of the best 2D platformers, I would say, ever, honestly. It's, yeah, yeah, it's totally. just, what a game. <clears throat> I was hoping that Nintendo would get something, because we got um, Kratos in the PlayStation version. Right. Battletoads and Xbox. Never had anything for Nintendo. I guess we got Amiibo, but I, I wish there was. And we had the, the two screen thing. Like, yeah, I will yeah, say yeah. that was pretty cool, the way they utilized the gamepad, so there was that. There's definitely like exclusive stuff in there. Like, yeah. I wanted, like, I don't know, like, there's a lot of Zelda 2 influence. Why not get Link in there? But, yeah. Yeah. And Nintendo weren't, like, shying away from using their IP in that era. Right. Like, Scribblenauts got Zelda and Mario characters. Right. Um, we had a lot. Like, Tekken had all the Mario characters. Uh, Sonic had uh, Lost World, had the Zelda Zone. Right. Um, and the Yoshi Zone. And the Yoshi Zone. I forgot yeah. about the Yoshi one. And <laughs> Brandon says, how did so many of you know it was me, by the way? It's just now really <laughs> <about that>. Yeah. <laughs> Dalph Alliance's fun fact, Mario Brothers U Deluxe has less content than Wii U. Mm. Yeah, I think that's true, yeah. Yeah, and then, uh, let's see, it was um, Top Dog talking about where's the Mario Kart DLC. Wave 2 feels like it should be here by now, or at the very least, any day now. Wait, what was their deadline? Was it was it Q4 2023 for the yeah, end of it? Yeah, end of next year, and there's six waves. Are we on Are we on schedule for that? If we go at this rate, will we, will we reach that Because now that we're, we're almost... Five months out now yeah. from wave one, so it's gotta be. They can't. They can't reach that deadline at this rate. It's gotta be more than that. It's gotta be coming out either like literally this week, yeah. or it has to be August. Daniel's here. Yo. Uh, so Thai guy nine zero zero one gave us one dollar ninety nine cents. Thank you. And says hot take. We you Mario Kart say it was more balanced and fun. Is that for just the one item? Really? Um, the, well, there's that, but there's also uh, fire hopping, which they took out of. Oh, sure. But I don't know if like, fire hopping. Yeah, I, was like, <laughs> yeah. I feel like taking out fire hopping made it more balanced. But yeah. I could see if you're. See, I, I get it because I was one of those assholes who was really good at snaking in Mario Kart DS. Sure, yeah. And I would. I mean, I was like a monster in that game. And I don't brag about like my skill very often, but I was ridiculously good at snaking. So I, I was upset that they took it out, but it did make it a better game. Uh -huh. It made it, you know, it's probably good that they did. You know, um, but yeah, I, I I wish I played battle mode more in deluxe because I was always complaining like the, I know. the Wii U one was so bad. I was like, oh man, yeah. they got a battle mode, and then they finally had it. I'm like, yeah, yeah. okay, I played it for a bit, but I go back to the racing not, most of the time. <laughs> it doesn't hit the same. It doesn't game for some reason. Yeah. It doesn't. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. It's just it doesn't quite hit the same. You know, speaking of games that we can play two players on one console, if we want, we could switch to uh, Mario Kart if we want. And we get could some more patrons in. Yeah. Um. Fire hopping, David, was when you. I'm trying to remember. It was when you would uh, spark and you would, like, you know, you would power slide, but then once you did the boost, you would hop back and forth because you go further when you're in, in when you're jumping than you do when you're on the ground, and you would have to, like, do sharp turns while hopping back and forth, and that would be fire hopping. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of like. kind of like a mini snaking. It wasn't, it wasn't as overpowering as snaking, but it was still people who are really good at fire hopping were always going to be people who were not. Oh, yeah. And so I think it probably did make for a better game to take it out. Uh, Brandon says all my homies <laughs> miss Smash 4. Is that Vectoring? Vectoring, oh. I think. is. I've, what was Vectoring? I forgot about that. I remember at the time, I remember I know what it was. But I forgot what Vectoring is now in Smash 4. It's wild going back to Smash 4. I've done it a few times lately. Yeah. And it just feels so slow. It's so slow. When you get launched, it's like you're going through yeah. Buster. It's like, uh... Like, at the time, it, it to me, felt like the best Smash game. Oh, yeah. I was never, like, you know, I'm never a big... Melee, I, I loved it at the time, but I left it in the past, uh -huh. right? And so, at the time, 4 felt like the best game to me, but now I go back to it, and I hate the way it feels uh -huh. compared to Ultimate. I just can't stand it. Is that, uh, is it Gil Gil Gilm? I can't, I'm, I'm really bad reading names. They say, I remember Splatoon had a two-player mode on Wii U. It did. It had it um, did. local with right. one person on the gamepad, one person on the TV. Yeah. Yeah, Gilm Mayate, maybe? Yeah. Uh, ben, it says, I'm confused. Ash, are you vacationing in the UK? Not quite vacationing. Uh, so one of our TNT guests, uh, Aaron Cooper, is one of my best friends, and I'm actually the best man in his wedding. And this uh, weekend was his stag party, his stag kidnapping, whatever they call it. So uh. <laughs> we uh, we took him to Dublin for his stag party, and uh, we had a great time. But I ended up uh, I've just been here for like ten days, essentially, uh, hanging out with John, hanging out with the, pe the the company I work for, my day job. They're based in the UK, so I got to see my boss in person for the first time, and so that's been nice. And yeah, so not quite vacationing, but uh, here for an extended yeah. stay. 
We'll do one final Smash match, and then All we'll right. do a little bit of Mario Kart, and then we'll probably have to wrap up for a bit. Sounds but, um, good. Yeah. Speaking of Aaron, I'm going to see if he that's, said That's what I was thinking. Are we, we going to maybe catch an Aaron? He no, I still haven't heard anything. He said he wasn't. He was a little bit tired, right. so that might be Luigi. I'm not. Yeah. I, I'm saying this for all my characters. I'm not the best Luigi. I'm not. I'm well, not uh, a good Luigi. We'll either. see how this goes, though. Yeah. Come here, Daisy. How's everyone feeling about Daisy and Strikers, or Shy Guy and Strikers even? I I would have been, I think, low key offended if Daisy wasn't the first was character so, they added. It was on the wall. Yeah. It, yeah, There's no of, co way. of course Daisy was coming. Yeah, but I love the style. That next level games are so good at animation um, mm -hmm. that they they bring Daisy to life in a way that no other spin-off really does. Yeah, but the, the first Strikers I think um, changed how I pictured Daisy because every other game she's just a happy bubbly princess. Right. Whereas Strikers made her this uh, what's the word like I guess kind of um, competitive. Uh, right. Way more vigorous. It's not not just a bubbly personality, but someone. Who really is different uh, to Peach? Yeah. Uh, even in Smash, like she's a Peach Echo. Uh, right. Whereas a Strikers, really, like next level games, really know how to give Daisy. Really gave her her own personality. Yeah. Yeah. But man, the, I feel like even with the update they just you know released, I feel like the conversation around Strikers died. So where's four? Fast. Where's four B four? Where's four B four? Exactly. Yeah, oh. I, I I really liked it too. I thought it was a really fun game, but there's just very little incentive to keep going. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a good question. Lazy Rococo asks, "What's your perfect video game?" Oh, that's hard. Not necessarily your favorite. Uh, I, I, I would add. So, man, that's hard because like, Chrono Trigger is my favorite game of all time, but I wouldn't call it perfect. Yeah. Uh, and, there, and there probably is no such thing as a perfect game, but I have to say, I think maybe the closest any game has ever come to me as a perfect game is A Link to the Past. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a I got a porn bot here. Me... Oh. That's how you know you made it. Hey, porn bot. Yep. See, I think my perfect game is probably Resident Evil 4. Um, I just the, the core game is so fun. Uh, and then Mercenaries just keeps that gameplay loop going forever. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure I'm not sure the entire game is as good as the start. Like the village of Resident Evil 4 and the castle are spectacular. Right. The island, probably less so. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's still good, but uh, it just doesn't quite reach the same heights. Right, we're right. But yeah, but then Mercenaries just keeps that gameplay going for as long as you want. Right. No, I mean, RE4, yeah, that's that's how I felt about it. It's like the first half, I love it. But then it kind of, kind of not falters, but it's just I don't like the second half yeah. quite as much. I mean, there's still fun, you still have regenerators, you've yeah. still got like the, uh, you still got a bunch of cool fights, but it's, it's just not quite the same heights. Yeah. But yeah, I think A Link to the Past is, is really close to a perfect game for me. Uh, really close. Where, where did you land on the A Link Between Worlds scale? Uh, I, oh, I, Derek and I always like, like play, fight about this because yeah. he prefers A Link Between Worlds. I definitely am A Link to the Past. Like, yeah. I love them both. Don't get me wrong. If if A Link to the uh, Between Worlds is a ten out of ten, A Link to the Past is like an eleven. They're both amazing, but I gotta give it to A Link to the Past. The the thing for me is that A Link Between Worlds is great as it is. The whole like non thing. so much thing, to it too. Like. It owes so much to a link to the past, um, its identity. Well, and, and that is, that's fine. Like, I didn't mind that so much. And I, I thought actually revisiting the same Hyrule 300 years later was really exciting. Because uh -huh. I'm like, oh my god, I'm revisiting this world that I know because of my childhood so well. But the whole non-linear thing made it so that every dungeon, there was no sense of increasing sure. difficulty or stakes. Yeah, I feel that. The last dungeon felt as hard as the first one. I, I, want kinda... re I want to revisit it though, because it's been a while since I've played Link Between Worlds, but I really did enjoy it. Um, oh, it was a great game. Yeah, yeah, one of the best 3D effects too. Like when you're in those top-down areas, so with, uh, cool. All the like all the falling tiles, you just you can see the depth. You yeah, can feel it. Yeah. Uh, we got ten dollars from Studio Crazy Train. Yeah. He says, "Yo, what's up, everyone? Been huge fans of both Ash and John are here forever since Thank the Game Explain days." Uh, anywho, I have a weird question for you guys. Want to hear about my major progress in the game? Or my major in progress in the yeah, game? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. Um, I, I think a lot of our community seems to side with Derek on that debate in terms of... The, like, it seems like a majority think A Link Between Worlds is the better game. I disagree, yeah. but I also think it's one of those things where you can't... There's no wrong answer. Yeah, yeah, sure. Like, on a recent GVG cast, the one of the, the topics I chose from a patron was, you know, settle the age-old debate. Sonic 2, Sonic 3, which is better. Yeah. There's no wrong answer. Like, for me, it's Sonic 3 and Knuckles. But I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna die on that hill if you say Sonic 2. I'm like, no, I mean... You're not wrong. I did a Twitter poll for A Link Between Worlds and Link to the Past, I think like a year or two ago, mm -hmm. and uh, Between Worlds did win. Yeah. Uh, it got like 10,000 votes, I think. Um, 
But yeah, it's it's funny because a link between things of the past was seen as this like unreachable uh, pillar for Zelda for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, there's like there's always the argument between Ocarina of Time and Link to the Past, and that conversation isn't the same these days. Right. Uh, I think Breath of the Wild really turned things around with that. But yeah. It's it's more games being thrown in there, which, which is more interesting, I think. Right. It's not always just the same games that we're talking about. Yeah. But let's get uh, Mario Kart in here. Cool. By the way, Daniel, I'm so sorry. I saw that you had just joined the room. I'm so sorry we couldn't play with you, man. Oh, We've sorry, already been Daniel, going. Yeah, sorry, sorry, dude. We've been playing for like two and a half hours, so we were gonna pop into some Mario Kart. Join us there if you can, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Let me just find my cartridge. Yeah. And I have mine if you uh, can't find it for whatever right. reason. Let's see. Oh, is it one of these? Um. Yeah, I, a yeah. lot of people seem to prefer a Link Between Worlds. I am not one of them, but I think they're both amazing games. And I'm not going to say you're wrong. Link Between Worlds sucks. It doesn't. It's amazing. I beat it three times. Like I loved it. Uh, Studio Crazy Train says, "Look at my super chat. It's worth it." But we we read it out. We did read your super chat out. Don't worry. We we definitely saw it. And uh, we definitely want to hear about your indie game yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Uh, oh man! Lazy Ro uh, Rococo says Mario sixty four versus Mario World. That's so different. Um, I yeah, usually I you hear Mario say, three versus Mario World. Yeah. I mean, but, I think probably. I mean, I think Mario sixty four is amazing. Um, but I think just because the camera aspect of it hasn't aged particularly well, sure, I'd have to give it to Mario World. But I mean, they're both so good. When I came back to Mario sixty four in All Stars, um, I think. I, I, I play this game like every year, but that playthrough in particular clicked with me that I don't love the mm. second half of 64. I don't love the second, uh, the top, the higher floor of the castle. Yeah, I, it's not as strong as the first half. I still like yeah. it, but it's not as, like, I think once you get to sh uh, Shifting Sandland is kind of, Lethal Lava Land, Shifting, that's kind of when I'm like, okay, I still really like this game, but I don't, like, it's not as amazing as the first half. Uh-huh. And Studio Crazy Train did post a uh, link to their, or did say, check out my channel for more. So, yeah, if you're into, uh, if you want to check out the indie game they're making, definitely check out their, their channel. Okay, not going to send more money for my wallet reasons, but it's like Fire Emblem meets Mario and Luigi, which sounds really interesting. Okay, thank you for letting us know. I And Igor, uh, Igor, Sheld Sh Igor Shalutko. Mario World is the best 2D Mario to this day, IMO. I agree with you. I am a I love Mario 3, but Mario World beats it for me every time. So here's the code on the screen, everyone. It there says we go. 03024376479. Nice. I'll put that in our uh Oh, we did a uh a tournament. Good thing. Yeah, yes, tournament, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess everyone can see that right now. Just um I would put it in our Discord, but I imagine there's gonna be a big flurry of people trying to get in here right now. So uh I can post if we want. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Tag live audience member. Brandon says, I hate Hazy Maze Cave. Delete that entire level. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me post it. 0302 4376 4779. Should we give folks like maybe a minute in our Patreon to get in first and then. I think people might have seen it already. Oh, but, that's uh, true. Good uh, <laughs> Never mind. All right, cool. I appreciate that you're using the Mega Man Me. Oh yeah, that's, that's my default Hell one. Yeah, yeah. nice. Well, I'm, I'm gonna keep using it. Hell yeah, I am gonna go straight up. Oh, you've got smart steering on that you might want to turn off. Oh uh, yes, I do want to turn that off. So you'll uh, press plus and yeah, then. Yeah, that's uh, right. Uh, I'm not off. someone who plans my parts too much. I look at the bars, watch them go up, but I don't really have like an ideal uh, part set that I go for. Oh, see, I use. Um, let's see. I always use either Rosalina or Inkling Girl, and I use. Oh, you got Coop, five seconds. Cyber Slick. You got there five we go. seconds. Cloud. There we go. All right. Is it just us two? Oh, no, there's more. Oh, oh God. Ah, there ah, we go. Ah, Hell yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I wasn't sure what we're walking into there, but. Uh... <laughs> Brandon Bowie is calling us a coward for <laughs> getting out of Smash before he played uh, Daniel. Sorry, man. I wish we could have played with you, but. Yeah, we, we've been going since five. Yeah, that's our excuse anyway. We're, yeah, we're just, our, we're just terrified of you. <laughs> I'm not sure if, um, what I put the points to. Oh, Daniel's here. Oh, yeah. there we go. You, you can't escape me, he says. No, no we can't Hell escape yeah. him. No, we don't want to. Why would we ever want to escape you, man? We love you. All right. I always really like this track. Yeah. Especially the winter version of it. 
Claire Smith says Mario 64 DS is instantly better because you can play as Wario in a mainline game. See, I, I never really liked uh, 64 DS, mostly because of using a D-pad in 3D space. Oh, yeah. But uh, I don't love all of its additions, either. That's not to say that it's a bad game, though. Right. Yeah, I, I would really like to have a, a port of Mario 64 DS with regular controls. See, uh, I got the Wii U Virtual Console version, uh -huh. and I placed a few changes on it okay. uh, done by the community, and it adds full analog support. See, that I would like to try. Because I, I like the extra stars they added. Like, I like some of the new content they added. It's cool. Yeah. Like, it's cool going back and exploring the castle that you know so well and finding new stuff in it. But, yeah, those controls are really hard to, to get. I, I didn't stuff. always love that some stars were character-specific. Because, sure. like, it, it kind of... It makes the, the experimentation feel a little bit, you know, less... Uh, yeah. ...important. Also, is this is this 150? Yeah, this is Something 150. Something feels slow about this to me. I don't know why. Oh. Weird. Daniel's in the lead. I Someone know. get him. Get him. You got him. There we go. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no, oh, no. no the Internet's lag. not on our <laughs> side. Can't you even die right? <laughs> I don't like those blue eyes of his. Cut out his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. I was able to, to, to sneak in front of him. Let's see how long it lasts. Ah, it didn't last very long. Oh, I'm, I'm getting hit by everything. Hey, Danley, you're not supposed to be faster than me, buddy. I should have given you the Sonic Me costume. I know, right? Get the fuck back here! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, like, I could have my four red shells. Oh, that was my one. <laughs> Sorry, oh, nice. I only did one of them, to be fair. <laughs> hey, asshole, stop ganging up on me! <laughs> I feel like like someone from Sega is gonna be like be watching at some point. But, like we can't let this keep happening. C and D right now. He can't keep cussing at Sonic. He can't keep getting away with this. Although I guess if we got away with the the cursed fanfic reading we did. Oh perhaps, God. We can do anything. Well, we were second and third for a while. Yeah. And we ended as seventh and eighth. There you go. We never got to finish that. That was oh God. That was cursed, man. Yeah. That fanfic reading. Good Lord. Brandon Scott says Mario Odyssey or Galaxy. But they're so different. Galaxy. Like, I, 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 I struggle to choose one. Um, ah. It's for me. It's not a struggle. I uh, Odyssey. I love the campaign, but the post game really just falls apart for me. Sure. Uh, whereas Galaxy, just for me, from beginning to end, is basically the perfect 3D Mario game. It, it is extremely good. Yeah. yeah. Odyssey's great. But <laughs> Sonic who says, I hope Sonic calls someone an asshole in Frontiers. <laughs> 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 Me too. I'd be I'd be so in on that. But yeah, I just uh I loved Odyssey's campaign. Amazing. But then once the credit after Mushroom Kingdom. Mushroom Kingdom was great, but after that I was just like the the darker side of the moon felt like such a Yeah, I, I can see that of yeah. a, of a finale. I just, like, Odyssey's yeah. movement's so good though. It is though, it is. And just yeah. ex exploring the worlds for the first time, like when you first land in a kingdom and you get to explore everything and find all the secrets, like mm -hmm. there's nothing that quite competes with that. Yeah. But yeah, gal galaxies linear levels are so well structured so yeah. well paced too it's just a roller coaster of constant thrills and there's just like a really specific tone that galaxy one has that we've yeah. never really been it's never been it, even two doesn't quite have that tone it doesn't like there was a whole thing about like just some of the well not only rosalina's story you have the storybook stuff which is just oh my god yeah like, this is so unexpectedly brutally sad but then you've got just some of the way the the tone like the dialogue like rosalina says you have to you know you have to venture to the center of the universe to save the, your loved one. Yeah. And to save the one you love. Like, it just made it feel epic in a way that no other Mario game quite has, in my opinion. Uh huh. And I just love that about it. But I, I get why people prefer Galaxy 2, but for me, uh, or Odyssey, but Galaxy 1 for me is my favorite 3D Mario. Yeah. I don't I don't really like to separate 2 and 1. They, they kind of feel like they complete each other. Yeah. Like, um, 2 does a lot that 1 doesn't, but yeah. 1 does a lot that 2 doesn't. Um, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I'm, I'm just way back here in ninth place. I'm just trying to make something happen here. Bowser's Fury, though. That's why people don't really talk about that much anymore. But I, I adored Bowser's Fury. I did, too. I really enjoyed it. Really cool soundtrack, too. Yeah. It was the perfect mesh of linear platforming, but somehow in an open space. Yeah. Um, and it, it, yeah, it was really clever. Yeah, I really... That felt like a, like a prototype of something they could make a full game out of. Yeah. Absolutely. And I would like to see them continue that direction, because I agree. I mean, there were some problems, like waiting for... Some, like, sometimes you're waiting around for Bowser, especially in the post-game, yeah. and getting all the stars, and you got yeah. to wait for Bowser to come around. But for the most part, 
I mm. thought it was fantastic. I mean, and I get, obviously, Mario doesn't ever need to go heavy on story, but I, I kept finding myself wanting to know more about what actually had happened to Bowser. Yeah. Like, why was he like this? And I like the idea that Bowser Jr. was sad. He's like, that's not my dad, that's not, you know, the, the dad that I know, please save him. But, like, I wanted to know what happened to him. Uh-huh. It's almost like he got norted, like, in the art style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, like, all darkness, and I'm like, what? What happened? Bowser Nord. Oh, Blue Shell. I'm so close to the end, too. No, damn it. Whoever Blue Shelled me. This hasn't oh, been. Oh, I might still oh, make it. I might oh. still make it. Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, you got Daniel? No, you didn't. Not oh. quite, not quite. Oh, I thought you got Daniel. Oh. oh. Not a great ending. Uh, Brandon says, uh, Brandon Bovia, doesn't love 3D World's controls in an open world, which, you know, I, That's I, fair. it did feel a bit strange to have this very linear control scheme applied to something very different. Uh, uh, I, th I think it worked for the most part. Mm -hmm. Which one do you want? Uh, let's do Big Blue. Okay. Yeah, I, I think my issue with Galaxy 2 is that it was like, and I, I hate to say it because I know, you know, Miyamoto's a visionary and we all just love him and respect him, but it was Miyamoto. He he did the things huh. that I don't like when sure. Miyamoto, like, stripped out all the story, stripped out all the tone, the character, and just f pure gameplay, which is, obviously gameplay is king, but Galaxy 2 just didn't hit the same. It didn't yeah. feel epic in that same way, and it almost felt like a like a side story or a reboot because it wasn't it's, it wasn't it didn't feel as though it felt like a continuation. It was a retelling, but yeah. in a lesser way. Yeah, and I didn't like it. Uh, or Forge, I didn't like Forge says, "Has Ash tried a Greg sausage roll yet?" Mm -hmm. Wait, oh, uh, Greg's no, I haven't. So, do you know what Greg's is? It's like a bakery chain here. Oh no, I, okay, a sausage uh, roll. That sounds yeah. good. Yeah, I, mean, I, I feel like it might. <laughs> I don't want to buy big up too much, but okay. it's. <laughs> Have you tried uh, Pizza Express before? No. That's another thing that I think. Uh, oh, we got a nice DLC track here. Hell yeah. That's another. Uh, that's pizza another Express. like. Uh, yeah, it's it's a really nice pizza chain. Okay. They might if they have one in Woking, I could try. I could possibly. I think try they do. It. Oh, okay. I don't. I just don't want to pick that up too much, but right, I think right. I think it's really good pizza. All right. I gotta take you to eat Korean barbecue when you're out in LA. Again. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. God, I, I really hope Wave Two brings us Airship Fortress. That's just the one track I want. Yeah. I love that. And and please don't let them redesign it like they did Sky Garden. Uh huh. They ruined Sky Garden. Oh, well, they didn't ruin it. It's, it still looks and sounds great. But well, Daisy Cruiser just got added to tour, so we're probably getting that. Oh, yeah, it's probably happening. And that's a great track. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, Sky Garden had a much, was a much better design in its original incarnation than the very simple loop that it kind of is now. Ooh. And I love Ninja Hideaway. Ninja Hideaway's great. A lot, a lot of the tour tracks I haven't experienced, yeah. um, and the ones that I have, I'm not that impressed by. But Ninja Hideaway just felt like a traditional mm -hmm. Mario Kart track. But also one that hasn't really been done before, like with all these layers and, uh, and traps everywhere. Yeah, but you know, the uh, the tour tracks are kind of all over the place, as I agree. Ninja Hideaway is definitely the best one, but some of the world, you know, like the real world ones are cool. Yeah. Like Paris Promenade, I like. Yeah. But then you get ones like Tokyo Blur that it's kind of just a blur. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't stand out to me in any way. Uh-huh. Like, at all. And I'm just like, eh. I played a few of them within tour. Like, New York Minute, I thought that was really basic. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Basic. L.A. Laps, it, well, it makes me laugh. Because L.A. Laps, it's not necessarily L.A. It's just a Santa Monica Pier. Uh -huh. But it's still, like, I like that L.A. is represented. It's just, I. it didn't seem like the most exciting track from what I could... I watched a video of it. I didn't bother playing it. I hate playing tour. I yeah. just do not like it. I know some it. people like it. Not a fan. I, I don't like it. The <laughs> Creative K KV says, this ain't Smash. We just switched. We just switched, Literally yeah. like 20 minutes ago. We should uh, change the title to, um, well, yeah. it's not as fun, though. We can't say karting. No. I mean, that's, you, that's not as fun as smashing. No, no. you can still smash in a cart. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. You can smash anywhere. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Should we go for another DLC track? Let's do it. Yeah. And the Coconut Mall, I, I really like it, but I, I do like the small elements that make it feel unorganic, like the the escalator just being so uh, flat. Like mm -hmm. I, I miss the staircase, I miss the bumpy curvature to going up them, or, or the cars at the end moving. They're so static now. Right. And, yeah. Uh, Ty Guy nine nine thousand one asks real question: When do y'all think we are actually going to, get, going to get some full Nintendo Directs here? September. Yeah, not, we'll not this month. Uh, no. they've, they've been dropping a lot on Twitter lately with the new Kirby game, yeah. with uh, Xenoblade, a bunch of Xenoblade stuff. Live Alive just came out. Yeah, September sounds right. We usually get a, a full direct in September. Yeah. 
I guess August isn't out of the question. Um, no. Meh. It could happen, but I think September is likelier. Yeah. Also, Bayonetta just got his date too, so they're, they're in no rush, are right. they? But there's no August game for Nintendo, I don't think. Um, trying to when think. It, we're packed for July, we're packed for October, um, but... Is there not? I don't think there's a first party for August. Well, clearly, because they're, they're obviously afraid of the Cowabunga collection and want to oh, yeah. give that time to breathe. They're, you know, they know it'll get overshadowed. I mean, it's still a good <laughs> month. We've got Soul Hackers 2 coming then as well. Um, All right. But yeah, I don't think Nintendo's doing it. See, anything. is there anything besides Cowabunga Collection coming out that I'm excited for? Oh, I guess I can't remember. You know what? If, if they drop like Mario Party DLC in August, that would be nice. That, that would be nice. Yeah. I just keep hoping they do that because Superstars is genuinely such a good game. One of the best, well, the best Mario Party game in over a decade. Yeah. And we know that DLC is at least in the data mine, but where is it? Where are you at? Because Superstars came out, what, November? Last yeah, year? yeah, I want to say November. So it's been almost a year now. Well, not almost. Like, it's coming up on a year. I really wish the, the Shy Guy cars moved. Yeah. Like, that was, that's a downgrade for sure. And the weird thing is that they changed the tour version to they restore did, that. yeah, but, but not here. Yeah, but not here. And that just makes such a... It makes the end of that track so much more thrilling because you never quite know if you're safe. Yeah. Uh, when this first came out, I was like, oh yeah, they're not moving, no more struggles, but then as time went on, I was like, actually, I, I miss the movie. Yeah, yeah. Just, it, had, it, it had a slight bit of just fear toward the end, like, yeah. oh man, if I mess this up, I'm not going to win, if you're, in, if you're in first. I'm not doing great. I am not either. I am in 11th over here. Yeah, this could definitely be going better. Oh, I got a blue shell. Nice. Sorry, whoever's in first. That's my blue shell. You know, I've never been like... I think Coconut Mall is a good track, but I've never considered it like, one of the very best, like some people uh -huh. seem to. I've, I've got a lot of fun memories of it, I think. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn it, you got me. Like, going back to Mario Kart Wii, I think a lot of the tracks in there are really good. Uh -huh. um, but I, I never loved the mechanics themselves of Mario Kart Wii. Me neither. I actually never really enjoyed Mario Kart Wii very much. It's among my least favorite Mario Karts. Wow. Yeah. My least favorite, and this this isn't unpopular, is uh, Super Circuit. Yeah. I, mean, I never jived with the mechanics. I didn't love the... A lot of, I mean, there's some, there's some cool tracks. Yeah. No, no, I think, like, Super Circuit's probably my least favorite, but uh, but Wii is pretty down there. It's pretty far down there for me. Uh -huh. um, one thing, like, I don't know what it is. I am so bad at Super Mario Kart. I always was <laughs> bad, at, uh -huh. bad at it, and I'm still... I don't know how to be good at that game. I, like, I just can't do it. I'm going to go for the the jazz, the jazzy Let's vibes of Dolph Dolphin Shells. This game, more than any other, makes the case for Nintendo needing to offer separate music and sound effects sliders. Oh, yeah. The, the, the engines are so loud. I don't want to hear the sound effects that loud. Give me the sound. Same thing with Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Amazing game. Amazing soundtrack. But the sound effects overpower <laughs> it. And I just want to hear the music more. Oh, uh, Nerbian says Super Circuit's one of his faves. Well, I'll, I'll compliment it. Having all of the Super Mario Kart tracks in there. Mm -hmm. That wasn't a standard for the series at that point. That's true. It went retro tracks. That's true. That was really, really cool. That was something that, yeah, that Super Circuit specifically did. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of Mario Kart 64's handling, though. And Super Circuit was like Super Mario Kart's perspective with the slipperiness of 64. Right. And I didn't, I didn't love that. That was something that that was like a real wake up call for me because I had a fight of founder uh, where I played uh, Mario Kart 64 and I used to be good at that game. Yeah, I am not anymore. No, <laughs> I don't know how I was ever good at it. Uh, battle mode still holds up. It Just, does. The core racing, I, I don't think it does. Like I was trying to beat uh, Bowser's Castle on 150cc and genuinely like being unable to do it. And I'm like, what happened? I and it wasn't uh -oh. like having an old like, oh, I'm getting too old. Like I feel like I'm still pretty good at the games I'm good at, but like something about it. I can't play Mario Kart 64 anymore. I'm really bad at it. Oh god, oh god. And like, uh, you know, modern Mario Karts I'm, I'm still good at. But 64, man. Jeez. There's still good vibes to 64, but like, it, it just, it doesn't, con it feels so different control-wise. Right. Uh, yeah. I still enjoy ah. it, but uh, it, I just not, not to the same extent. Yeah. I'm doing real bad. Give me a bullet bill. <laughs> Give me a bullet bill. I'm doing okay. 
I'm always so happy when we do our fighter founders. Dan. And someone requests uh, F Zero X. Oh, uh huh. That's fi look, fight. We can fight by F Zero games online. Yeah. We have the capacity to do that. Uh, it's hard to arrange because you've got, got to get a friend that's doing it too. But whenever one of our patrons suggests F Zero X, it's always a good time. I was jealous when you got a patron uh, requesting Panel de Pond. Oh, yeah. I that love was a lot of Panel fun. Panel de Pond so much. Yeah. And I want to. Oh, God. I'll play that anytime. Now we've got another one, Pokemon Puzzle League, to play online. Right. Which is so cool they brought that back. Yeah. I'm still waiting on Wave Race, though. Still one of these, on Wave there's still quite a few games I can come along. Yeah. Well, there's on. Wave Race, Excitebike 64. Yeah. Um, 1080. I yeah. I don't think they would, but Resident Evil 2 or, oh, or Mega yeah. Man Le um, 64. Mega Man 64 would be cool just because it was like Mega Man Legends on Switch, basically. Yeah. Anyway, we got Wily Wars, so if we can get that's, Wily that's Wars, true. I feel like we can get 64, maybe. It, I, I, Steve is not a... He really doesn't like Wily Wars, but I have to say, playing it yet again on Switch Online, I think it holds up. It's, it's not nearly as good as the NES version. It's, like, it's not like I prefer it, but it does some really cool fun. things. Yeah, yeah, it's like cool in its own way. Steve hates it, though. Yeah. He hates it. <laughs> Oops. Alright, I'll take fourth. I always fourth throw a game. shell behind me at the end, even if I'm... Like, I do that, yeah. If, if, if I'm comfortably winning, I just I just do it just because mm -hmm. um, I'm a dick. <laughs> 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 oh, Diddy Kong Racing, says Moon Knight. Oh, Absolutely. Diddy Kong Racing! And Smash 64. Hell yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh, they, of course, online of Smash course. 64. Oh. Yeah, 64 is far from done. There's so yeah. much more they can do. Uh, Alpha Line, I think you can uh, play Sonic 2 competition mode online. I think that does work. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Sonic 2 Online, just having, like, the second player control tails in single player, mm -hmm. that, that, that's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, Wataniac asks, do we prefer Panel de Pond or Puzzle League? Uh, Panel de Pond. Me too. Yeah. P Puzzle League's really, really good for, if we're talking Pokemon Puzzle League, mm -hmm. it's, it's good just to have the vibes of, like, the anime, which very, but no other Pokemon game really does have, yeah. like, anime uh, inspiration or soundtracks. So that's cool. Yeah. But I, 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 pref I think the, the visuals in Pokemon Puzzle League are quite compressed. Exactly. Whereas Pound Upon is very clear and crisp blocks. Yeah. Whereas in Pokemon Puzzle League, it's all like it's it's low quality JPEGs, but uh. Panel Upon still just good. just hit and and for me specifically Tetris Attack. Yeah. Just hits different for me because I grew up with it and. You know, I know the I know the music and the soundtrack better and the feel of it better. Yeah. I still played a lot of Pokemon Puzzle League, but just not it doesn't hit the same for me. Yeah. Oh, ever uh, or Daniel, uh, Bomberman sixty four. Oh Hell yes, yes, please. Hell yes. And speaking of that, add Super Bomberman 2. That's still one of my very favorite Bomberman games. Uh, Nobian says, what about Pound Upon 64? Yeah, in, in, in Nintendo Puzzle Collection, it's it's the only four-player. I forgot about that. It's so good. Oh, I forgot. It. They should do that. They should. Four-player Pound Upon sounds almost too fun to be legal. <laughs> yes. That sounds Too dangerous. fun to be legal, that yeah. That sounds dangerous. Oh, my God. God. We should Puzzle do it over, like, Parsec sometime with uh, a bunch oh, of us. Oh, yeah. Puzzle League is so yeah. Nintendo Puzzle Collection is so good. You've got a, 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 an unreleased Pound Upon game. You've mm -hmm. got Dr. Mario 64, which didn't come to Japan. You've got a brand new Yoshi's Cookie. And then you've got Game Boy Advance versions to be downloaded onto the system and played without uh, being attached to the GameCube. Right. It's just such good value. Yeah. And it's funny, because like, I'm normally I'm not a puzzle game guy. Like Anybody will tell you, you know, I, mean, I, like, I like a good round of Dr. Mario now and then. Uh -huh. But I've never been a big Tetris guy. I don't really enjoy Tetris 99. I'm just not, you know, Puyo Puyo's fun, but not really my thing. Uh -huh. But I could play Tetris Attack or Panel de Pond forever. It's funny that uh, Pound de Pond appeals to you, but not Puyo Puyo. Because I think they're fundamentally quite similar, I'd say. I think it's the pacing. Yeah. I, like, like, Panel de Pond has, like, this breakneck pa pacing that just really appeals to me. It's very frenetic. And, like, Puyo Puyo, I feel, is just... Maybe I haven't played the right versions of Puyo Puyo, but uh -huh. it just feels a little bit slower, like Dr. Mario, to me. It can be. Yeah, and that's, like, nothing wrong with that, but I just think I like the pacing yeah. of Puyo, or uh, Panel Upon. It takes... There's a big learning curve to get good at Puyo. Mm -hmm. um, I, uh, I, my, I guess I, I, I guess we all sort of grew up with Mean Bean Machine, <laughs> but um, uh -huh. the first time I really got into Puyo was Puyo Puyo Tetris. And um, I, I enjoyed it as, like, a party game. Uh -huh. But then when Amelia was being born... Uh, I really, uh, when Roxy was like waiting to give birth and we were just sort of waiting around doing nothing, I started playing a lot more of uh, Puyo Puyo Champions. Oh, okay. And that's when I really started to get good at Puyo. 
I was okay, just in the waiting cool. room doing nothing. I had the time to spare. I was like, okay, let's, let's learn some Puyo. Yeah. Oh, and, okay. and since then, I became like a huge fan of the series. All right, Tess, can I get a good... Oh, red. Is that going to be enough? Oh, I got you, Tess. Oh, no, you lagged. I didn't get you. I thought I did. And we got Kirby's Avalanche coming, another Puyo game. Right. Which is so good. Like I love the dialogue in Kirby's Avalanche. You know, I never played Avalanche. Kirby is... He, he speaks, not not just in Puyo's. He, he, he actually speaks? speaks. He speaks. I didn't know. Oh, God. It's and like... he is brutal. Like he'll, oh, like, really? He'll talk to um, Wispy Words and say things like, I'd like some apple pie. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually great. I never played Avalanche. I didn't know he, he talked in it. That's yeah. amazing. Uh, Joe oh. says, John, you should get Ash to play 50 Hertz Sonic. <laughs> that would be funny. I, I would be down for that because I was like personally offended in what's that track All right. when I heard Spring Yard Zone at that speed. I'm like, I mean, this is Spring Yard Zone. Why does it sound so slowed down? I hate this. You know, we'll, we'll end the stream with uh, Ash playing 50 Hertz Sonic then. I'll set, I'll set it up in a moment. Let's do it. We'll do, um, I don't have any more rounds left in the tournament. I forget Probably how many like one, I think he did eight races, so he have to be north toward the end. Okay. Uh... Yeah, Brandon Bovey says he talks a lot of shit. He does, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. good. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's funny. And you've got like the, the art villain. He's a uh, villain, uh, the art guy. He says something like, let me paint you a picture. And Kirby goes, oh, what of? It's of you losing. That's <laughs> it's, amazing. It's brutal. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I love it. Oh, that's so good. Oh, yeah, here's a Thai guy just posted a laundry list of games I'd love to see. Oh, yeah. yeah Banjo Tooie. Smash 64, the Bomberman games. Imagine if they put Animal Forest on the Japanese app. Oh, yeah. That'd be a cool one. Uh, Creative KV asks how my sleep schedule is. You know, I haven't... It's been rough, only because not only am I, you know, in all these different time zones and jet lagged and stuff, but my hotel doesn't have air conditioning. And so when I got here, there was a crazy heat wave going on. And you, you all know me. I don't like heat, and I can't sleep when I'm humid and sweating. I can't, I can't sleep. And so the first few nights, I didn't get, I didn't get more than three to four hours of sleep at a time. I was able to catch up in Dublin, uh, and now that now that I'm back and the weather's better, I'm sleeping a little bit better here now. But uh, I am looking forward to, to to getting home for sure. Like the, I, I had to see John, uh, I had to see you know of course Aaron take him on his uh, stag party in Dublin, and uh, you know and I've done all that, and I'm I'm happy to be here, but. I miss my wife terribly, uh -huh. and I'm I'm definitely looking forward to uh, you know heading back heading back to LA and seeing her and sleeping in my bed. <laughs> sleeping just in a <laughs> you always miss bed. your bed once you've gone away for oh. a few days. Nothing and I gotta like say it. the the, the bed in the, I'm at the Travel Lodge Woking Central. Oh, a Travel Lodge, huh? <laughs> it, it's it sucks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're not great. <laughs> it sucks. Uh -huh. There's like this giant ass stain right next to my bed. I don't even want to know what it is. <laughs> I really don't want to know. I don't want to think about how probably not clean those sheets are. Uh -huh. It's not a great hotel. Yeah, Travel Lodge is just one of those like budget uh, yeah. chain hotels. It's not great. But hey, you know what? It's a roof over my head, and yeah. you know I can't complain. And there is a two-hour block every night of Law and Order SVU, which has been great because I'm a go. huge SVU guy. I don't know what it is about that show. Like hours disappear in what feels like minutes when I watch <laughs> Special Victims Unit. I don't know what it is. But Soul is the same way. We both just love Law and Order SVU. It's just so random, but it's just so good. And so that's gotten me through a lot of sleepless nights here. It's just that two hour. They call it the Law and Order SVU night shift here. <laughs> <laughs> and that's good. Who, who would have thought we would have would, uh, started with Smash, moved on to Mario Kart, and then st started talking about Law and Order? Oh, oh no! Oh. Uh -oh. oh, this is not. This is not my match. Oh, oh no, not the end. No, Spicy Pandy with the fireballs. I think that was you. This is no good. Oh. 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 Oh, at least we're both suffering. Yeah. <laughs> at least we're not <laughs> suffering alone, yeah. right? <laughs> Pirate Gaz says, Surely we saw we draw dicks over vaginas because they're easier to draw. One swooping pin line. I love that that came along so <laughs> late know. after. So much later. <laughs> Oh, we got some other Law & Order fans in the uh, chat here. I like oh, to man. see it. Oh, here's nice. something for you. So, in oh. the US, what's this track called? Oh, it's such a bad name. Music Park. Yeah, now it's Melody Motorway. That's so much better. Alliteration makes everything better. <laughs> Melody Motorway. Like, we won the Kirby's uh, Return to Dreamland naming yeah. war. 
you guys won the Melody Motorway Music Park. I mean, even Kirby's Avalanche, it's called Kirby's Ghost Trap here, which, to me, that doesn't say Puyo Puyo. No. I guess Avalanche, like Avalanche is falling. Yeah, I guess it kind of does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, nice, we got, got a few Law & Order fans here. Like, <laughs> specifically, I love it. But yeah, Melody Motorway is such a better name, like Music Park, okay. I think a few of the tracks were renamed. Um, I can't remember what else was, though. I can't either. Uh. So, some of the Mario Kart 7 tracks are weird, because, like, I really loved Melody Motorway in Mario Kart 7. Yeah? I don't really like it as much in this game. But on the other hand, I didn't like Neo Bowser City uh -huh. in 7, but I love it in yeah, this game. I yeah, don't know yeah. what it is. It's so weird. I love how gold it is in this game. Like, this track, like look how gold everything is. Uh -huh. It's just kind of shine. But I kind of feel you there, though. It's not quite as yeah. arcade feeling. I don't know what... What it is. A Dalph Alliance is Yoshi's universal gravitation. Yeah, was it Topsy Turvy? Yeah, Yoshi's yeah. Topsy Turvy, which. <laughs> Topsy Turvy's way better. Our Nerbian's just discovering the US had different Mario Kart track names. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, they're not all different. Oh, Amy's here! Them. Amy says, ooh! Hey, Amy. Never knew about Melody Melt Meltaway. Meltaway? Motorway. <laughs> hey, Amy! Hey! I uh, actually did not know that it was called y Yoshi's Universal Gravitation. Yeah. That's a terrible name. That's how we. That's how sophisticated we are. I, I guess mother, so. Mother, yeah. please. I guess. So. Please purchase me Yoshi's <laughs> Universal Gravitation. What a stupid name. Whereas in the U.S., <laughs> Yeehaw, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> Can yeah. I get topsy turvy? Tops, topsy turvy. <laughs> Yeehaw. Yeah. That's how. All, that's how all of us Americans <laughs> yeah. sound. By the way, clearly, yeah. we all sound that way. <laughs> it was so funny. Everybody in Dublin was so nice. One of the friendliest uh. cities I've ever been to. But there is one guy that. Uh, one guy came up to us, an older man came up to us and, and asked where we were all from. Just a guy on the street and wanted to talk to us. There were like eight of us together. And he was really nice to everybody. And then he got to me and was like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm from the U.S. He's like, fuck you guys. Don't you guys know that you're responsible for all the wars around the world? And I'm like, dude, I mean, uh, first of all, I'm sorry. I mean, I, I, I'm just let you know, I'm not like a patriotic American like I hear you. We're not great. But I didn't do it. Did you apologize for the wars? Uh, yeah, I, I didn't apologize myself. Like I didn't, do, I didn't start them. But he was like, he was like, oh bugger off when he found out I was American, and I'm like, I didn't do anything. I'm one of the good ones. I promise. I promise. I get it. We're not the most popular, but I didn't do it. But he just loved us until he got to me, and he was like, oh bugger off. I'm like, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love Jansen Jones. Yeehaw, ma. Lol. <laughs> Oh no, no. Okay, good. I actually, I was lucky that I had a boo or a, a blooper there because I turned a little bit too sharply. This is a better game for us. The last few tracks haven't been so kind, but uh, we're in pretty good places. Yeah, not bad. Or as uh, Sonic would say, yeah, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, Tails. Where are you going? He's such a he's such a dickhead in those races with Tails. Yeah. In Adventure. Hey, hey, hey! But sometimes he's like, oh right, Tails! Yeah. Huh? Like he's condescending though. It's like he's like, oh right, Tails, you're doing your best, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's better, second and third. Not bad at all, yeah. <laughs> Brandon Bobby says Ash you're a war criminal <laughs> now. <laughs> but uh but no, honestly, that it was just that one guy. Everybody else in Dublin was so so nice. Uh, and and as I mentioned to you, there was pride imagery everywhere. Oh, yeah. Like, trans flags, pride imagery, and I love that. It was so great. Is there is there more? <laughs> no, there that's we go. it. I love it. Nerbion says, I'm sorry I'm American, then some, kind, some crimes can never be forgiven. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Tails, as David VA says. Well... <laughs> I'll get I'll get the Mega Drive set up. The, okay. the wires are a mess, so I'm gonna try and find them. So Ash is gonna entertain you while I all right. I wires. shall I shall entertain. Uh, looks like the top ten here. Let's see. Does it? Where does your controller? Go? Were you using the Xenoblade one? I was. Yeah. Oh, okay, let's see here. It's probably a bit sweaty. So I guess it just combines our scores because there's only one of one of you here. But uh, our top ten was Chris two four six, Spicy Pandy, Miranda. Uh, John, which is, I guess, combined both our scores, Andy Mine P, PJ, C, and then our top three were Daniel, Tess, and Jessica. Well done, you guys. Well done, everybody. <laughs> Brandon says, my dad has a southern drawl and can confirm we do say yeehaw, ma. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel says, well, I'll take ending with 69 points. All right. I found the power <clears throat> cable. I'm trying to find the, the uh, video cables now. 
Well, I don't know about you guys, but 69 is my favorite number. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I never get I never get tired of saying inappropriate things as Sonic. It's so fun. He's such a fun voice to do, and I can do it because like I can't do it at home at home as much because Basola hates it, uh -huh. and because he's just so obnoxious, right? And like even when I'm doing it on stream sometimes or like in the office, she'll poke her head and just give me this death stare, <laughs> and I'm I like this like you're this close to divorce stare. Oh, no. no, not actually, <laughs> not actually. But she hates my she she hates it because she thinks it's really good. She's like, it's it's too good, and it's he's so annoying. Alright, let me make sure this one works. I found a cable that looks like it fits. Alright. So that's not the right cable for that. Uh, Irish Shackamon says, actually, Ireland, in, or Ireland, Ireland in general is quite supportive of the LGBTQ plus community, which is a far cry from the type of country Ireland was a long time ago. Yeah, I didn't know either way really much about, uh, you know, Irish culture. And so when I got there and saw all this, like, incredible pro, uh, you know, pride imagery, and yeah, everyone just seems so welcoming. I love it. Let's see here. Mario Man TJ says, my favorite number is three. I just think three is a nice number. Well, my favorite number is four. For I don't even know why. It's just kind of my favorite number. I, I totally like hear you. Ten? You like ten? Ten's a great number. Nice. It's my favorite Final Fantasy. I'm going to just one second. All right. I am going to make us full screen for a moment. All right. Just while I set things up, because you'll be losing the switch, which is this layer. So let's be full screen. Hey, everybody! Oh, hell yeah. Oh, wait. I lost the chat, though. Oh, whoops. Oh, let me go to... Let me make sure I don't mess anything up here. Found chat. I'm just looking for your browser. Chat, oh, there it you? is. There it is. Okay. Oh, no, I'm not full screen anymore. Hang on. There we go. Uh... Spicy Pandotter says, favorite number is 249, Lugia, Pokedex number. Hell yeah. Uh, Irish Jackamon, I did not see the Dublin Spire. I did go to the Guinness Storehouse, though. And that was amazing. I learned to uh, pour a pint of Guinness. Had no idea how nuanced that was. Let's just make sure this works before I put it in the adapter. <laughs> This is so dark. Big Sucks, which that name. Big Sucks says, my favorite number is negative five because it reminds me of my bank account. <laughs> That's terrible. Is that showing you? Uh, it is not. We're back on your computer screen now. That's okay. Let's keep it on. So this will be on a separate screen in a moment. All right. Just want to make sure this works, which it doesn't want to. Uh, C Tarno 12, I love the UK. I've actually been before. It's, I haven't been in a while, but this isn't my first time here, and I love it here just like I did the first time I was here. It's great. So, chat, we'll see you again in a second. Yeah, we'll be we'll be right back. Oh, the Xenoblade Pro Controller is so cool. Oh, yeah. I have the Smash one, which I like a lot. There we go. Cool. It's on the big screen, though. That's fine. Okay. Uh, I'll put it in. It's not looking oh, great. Oh, it's not looking either. great, though. What's up with you? It's looking a little sick. Oh, now, I think we're better now. Cool. Here we go. Cool, so I just gotta put that in a Scott converter, and All we'll right. be right in. Cool. Let's get chat back. So we're nearly ready for 50 hertz Sonic. I am. I don't know if I'm ready for this. <laughs> like I said, I was personally offended by the 50 hertz version of Spring Yard Zone. We're in for a wild ride. Oh, man. Ewan Jones says, shame there is no Xenoblade 3 controller. Well, give give them time. Xenoblade 3 isn't even out yet. There may yet be one. There may yet be one. I mean, they're messing around with the limited editions a bit. Right. Oh, audio is gone, apparently. Oh, weird. Says... Can you hear us? Are the microphones on still? Weird. Can you hear us? Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Well, let, oh, let's see if they can hear us now or not. Jansen Jones says, your shirt is amazing. Uh, per Vertex asks, will it be 50 hertz Sonic on a CRT? Because that'll be hell in my virgin eyes. No, it's going to be in a monitor, not a, not a CRT. Just 
causing some mess over here looking for okay. cable. They do hear us. Audio is fine. That's We're good. good. Yeah. Uh, Irish Jackamon says, Ireland in general has a lot of pros and cons, and personally I focus too much on the cons when I'm talking to people. I get that. I probably focus too much on the cons about America, too. There are good things about it, but I definitely focus uh, a lot on the cons, especially right now. Chat, where's the specific cable I'm looking for? <laughs> Where is it, chat? Oh, I like that, Dark Seal 01. My favorite number is 20XX. Nice. Uh, just kidding, my favorite number is 7. 7 is a lovely number. Matthew Young, hello to you as well. Thank you for coming to hang out. Well, I can't find a good one, but maybe this this crap one will work. All right. <laughs> fingers crossed. I'll cross my gloved fingers. My giant gloved hands. Um, Yeloso asks, how hyped are we for Xenoblade 3? Uh, John, I think, is a little bit more hyped than I am. I'm pretty excited. Hyped. Yeah, he's really hyped, or pretty hyped. I'm hyped enough, but I'm uh, I'm going to play Live Alive first. I can wait on it. Uh, Big Suck. Has Asher John been to Japan? I've been several times. You haven't been yet, right? I haven't been to Japan. No. Right, okay. Really want to. Uh, I, I want to take a GVG trip to Japan so badly. So badly. Uh, Ewan Jones says, don't, uh, don't find the cable, John. Let the cable find you. It's okay. We found, we found a cheaper one, which probably has some latency in there, but at least it should work. All right. But yeah, big suck. I've been five times, five or six times. I can't remember. I love that country. I love. I wouldn't necessarily want to live there, but God, I love visiting. Kyoto is like one of my favorite places in the world. All right, bear with me, chat. We're nearly there. And uh, let's see. Meme guy asks, "Hey Ash, favorite Kingdom Hearts?" Oof, probably Birth by Sleep. It's tough though. Uh, it's close. To, it's it's either Birth by Sleep or Kingdom Hearts Two Final Mix. Uh, Iron Mandarin just came in. Ash, how are you there at John's place? Well, I took a flight across the Atlantic, and now I'm here. Uh, no, I'm, I'm here for many reasons, one of which is to visit John. But, uh, no, I was actually... Uh, I'm I'm uh, here for a stag party, essentially a bachelor party. Our former TNT guest, uh, uh, Aaron Cooper, is also one of my best friends, and he made me his best man. So I came over to uh, take him to Dublin for his bachelor party. I found the non-crap one. Nice. Sp Spicy Band Otter says, no signal, best game ever. Oh yeah, this is the 50 hertz version. <laughs> In all this glory. Creative Cave, he says, Ash and Big Suck is something I never wanted to hear in the same sentence. That's not, that's something I never, I never wanted to hear in the same sentence. Uh, Nintendo Nerd gets it right, I just walked. Yeah, I just walked from LA over yeah. to, over to, to, to the UK. Just a little trip. Yeah. Right, per vertex, a good old stag do, which is I've never heard that term until now. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's they're called bachelor parties in the U.S. and that's really all they're called. I've literally never heard of a stag do until you know it was explained to me. Is this doing anything? Nothing yet. Still on no signal. Okay. Weird. Nerbion says the suspense is killing me. Why am I so excited to watch Ash play Fifty Hertz Sonic? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I mean, if we can't get this to connect, what we can do is just point the camera at the TV with plugged into the TV. That's our mm. last resort. But hopefully, this will work. Just give me a few more seconds. <laughs> Spicy Bandy says there's a lot of bizarre, bizarre stuff GVG has said over the years, and it never gets old. That's, I mean, that I think that's just a uh, a function of our weird senses of humor. Steve, Steve and I collectively have the sense of humor of like a six year old, or no, maybe maybe a sixteen year old, eight and eight. But we both love our our silly immature humor. All right, so I'm not sure this is gonna work, but what we can oh, no. do, we're gonna go to our last resort. We're gonna go on cam, off cam, camera TV thing. So, bear with me, chat. Oh, man, I just realized, yeah, per, per vertex. I didn't realize it was, like, pervert, per vertex. Oh, man, I didn't even realize that. All right. We are nearly ready. Hey, Matthew Young. 
Matthew Young says, Ash, my son has been watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse nonstop on Disney Plus and loves toodles. Couldn't believe when he randomly started talking is none other than your dad. I didn't even know my dad did toodles. I never even heard of toodles. That's cool. I didn't even know that. Joe N says, don't forget to blow in the cartridge. Yeah, you can do that a few yeah. times. A little blow it. Let's get you a controller. Oh, Saturn or those Mega Drive? Oh, that's a Mega Drive, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sp Spicy Pan Otter says, Pervert X. <laughs> pervert X sounds like the nobody of a pervert. That's so good. Okay. Still looking a little bit. Oh, I think we're okay. Now. We'll see if it goes back in. Oh. Nope, nope. It was there for a second. All right. So this this Mega Drive is modified to have a 60 hertz switch. So let's see if it's in the, the right mode. All right. That sounds 50 hertz to me. Let's try. And yeah, it sounds like it. If I wiggle this, does this make you look any better? Much better, much better. Sweet. All right. I look hot now. Okay, chat. You're about to witness oh, some... Man. That's, we're not going to stretch this image, though. We're going to make it look nice in 4 by 3 Chat, we're it's nearly so ready. It's so slow. The music is so we're slow. We're nearly ready. We'll turn up the volume. Oh, no. That's better. All right. Oh, no, the music. So, Ash... Oh, oh I'll fix that. Yeah, all right. How's that? Yeah, but much better. All right, there we go. Okay, you're gonna be John Cam. All right, it's back in sixteen by nine. I Here we go. Too, too late to fix it. What is that title screen oh, theme? Let me just uh, make chat full screen. I think we're stretched right now. Oh, okay. So chat, you're about to see everything from my perspective. This is the most professional setup we've ever had. Oh no, this music is just. So we're gonna make you all big. All right, there's a glass there. We'll move that. <laughs> Oh no. Chat, are you ready for 50 Hertz Sonic? I know I'm not ready. Da, da, da. That's so slow. So if you press start, right. is it giving you it. control? Yes, yeah. we're good. So not only Ash, will the music be slower? Uh -huh. Everything. Everything is slower. All right. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. Oh, gee. <laughs> oh no. This isn't. This isn't. This isn't good at all. This is how we grew up playing Sonic. Oh my god, it's so slow. I used to think Sonic wasn't fast at all. Right. I, I thought it was just marketing. I thought it was all about, about momentum and it was never about oh, speed. Oh, that's so funny. Which is some extent it is. I think momentum is a bigger part than speed, but this is, still. This is Sonic without the blast processing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my... Every... It, it feels like low gravity. Yeah. Every jump. This is this wild. This is what every single game was like. Wow, that's... I hate this. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I absolutely hate it. I never want to play Sonic like this. See, now I have to go back to my hotel room and play Sonic Mania just as a palate cleanser. It feels like you literally are low, low gravity right now. It does. Yeah. It feels like an underwater stage, but it's Green Hill Zone. But imagine Labyrinth Zone. Oh, no. I think we might have to do the stage selection. Yeah, that might, be a, that, that might be a good idea. Oh, I bet the special stage is oh, yeah. a mess. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do the special stage and we'll get you on Labyrinth Zone. Do you oh, recall that... the, uh, the button input for... Level select? I think it's up, down, left, right, A? We'll see if that's it. Yeah, yeah, maybe. But you have to do it during the Sega logo, right? You, you do it on the title screen. Or it's the title screen, And then okay. you've got to do some uh, sound test stuff. Oh, man. This is so weird. Like, the, the soundtrack isn't supposed to sound like this. Sonic um, Origins should have had a 50 hertz. Mode. Yeah. <laughs> well, if anything, it does make the special stages a little easier. Yeah, that's true. An unintended side effect, right, I guess. Hold that a second, and we'll, right. get the, uh, we'll get this restarted. All right. <laughs> that that <laughs> stage clear theme offends me. Like, oh my god. Shout out, hope you're that's enjoying terrible. this. terrible. Okay. So up, I think it's like up, down, left, right, and you hold A and press start. I think that's right. There yeah. you go. I remembered oh, it. Yeah, I yeah, remembered no, it. Let me just make sure we still got chat, because we can't see you right now. Oh yeah, I remember it was so weird. Labyrinth Zone came out, comes after Green Hill Zone in the uh, <laughs> stage select order. It's so weird. Oh, here we go. Time for Labyrinth Zone. All right. Oh no. Oh god, I just the music. Oh god. 
no. Oh, good to know those guys are just as annoying. Oh, yeah. In the 50 hertz version. I can't wait for you to go underwater. I can. Uh, oh, this this feels horrible. <laughs> I mean, I, I hate Labyrinth Zone anyway, but... Sometime, we've got to do a charity stream with 100% playthrough of the power version. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> and then, I mean, this must make, like... Oh, God, it must make that uh, one column, or that one... Uh, area with the moving blocks and chemical plant zone. Oh, yeah. Horrible. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. God. This is awful. Go get that switch. Oh. I'm in hell. <laughs> Shoot me now, please. <laughs> I'm supposed to be fat. Oh, God. Every time you get hit, it's just... Yeah. And it's still slow down when, you, when yeah. you get hit like that. I remember when I first emulated Mega Man The Wily Wars. It was I was emulating in 50 hertz naturally. Oh yeah, yeah. And, it, and I, I, but I didn't know that at the time because I was like a kid and I or like a young teen, so I didn't know the difference between 50 and 60 hertz. Oh, yeah. but I was like, why does this feel so bad? It took me years to understand the difference. Uh huh. I was like, oh, so our games have been like this the entire mm -hmm. time. Yeah. So for you, growing up on this, you must have like felt it must have felt like a revelation. Yeah. When you played 60 hertz Sonic. Absolutely. Wow. It's really hard to go back to this. <laughs> I, oh man, so was the so you said the Super Nintendo was better optimized, right? A lot of the games were, yeah. Oh, okay. uh, Sonic Three actually does have optimized music, but okay. the, it's, the game speed is still like this. I wonder if uh, I wonder how. I mean, Mega Man X has to be horrible. On oh, I've got, I've, 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 I've only played the Super Famicom horrible. version, so I, I, I don't know for the PAL fifty hertz. Oh version. man, I would hate playing Mega Man X in fifty hertz. Oh. I mean, it's, it's obviously perfectly playable, but yeah. compared to, you like, know, if you don't the real know, deal. If you, if you don't know what you're missing out on, yeah. then you're like, oh, this is normal. But uh, clearly, uh, even back then, I knew it felt a bit sluggish. Right. Well, especially for a game that's all about speed, too. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah, this is... And, like, I would never, I mean, I, I can't imagine trying to do, like, Wing Fortress Zone in Sonic 2, like, all, that, all those tricky <laughs> yeah. jumps. Like, oh, man... <laughs> Sonic Jam was the true revelation. It was still 50 hertz, but it uh -huh. optimized all of it. Um, and yeah, that, that was a huge jump over this. Right. Sonic Jam. Sonic Jam. <laughs> I love that voice. This just feels horrible yeah. to play. You've only been going for two minutes. Like, what, watch the timer right now. Look how long a second takes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, uh. Does it feel like two, two minutes and 30 seconds you've been doing this stage? No, for? it feels like an eternity. <laughs> Oh. Oh, that's nice. I know. I actually thought I was gonna die there. Yeah. I hate these bits. Oh, the the spears are yeah. so annoying. No input lag though. I will say that. Yeah. I mean, Scott's yeah. a really good image quality, but uh, I mean, not no one is switched. I stretched into sixteen by nine like this, but Scott as a right. whole looks great. Oh, that anyway, that level clear theme. Let's though. not make Ash. Suffer any longer. No, no, that's this is quite enough. I want to see you again, of... chat. Yeah. Oh man. All right, next time what we do mess. this, we'll hook up the Mega Drive properly. If we do this again, because um, that was not the ideal setup. Right. <laughs> but. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Imagine scrap Brain Zone at 50 hertz. Oh, that's got to be horrible. Yeah. Oh man. Do we miss any super chats during that? I no. Don't e everyone think was we did. everyone yeah. was too busy throwing up at whatever that was. Yeah. Oh man. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out with us. Yeah. Uh, look forward to to our tier list rankings of various British candy and chocolate. That's going to be a lot of fun when that goes up. Yeah, she got really soon. It's a pretty simple edit, so we yeah. should have that up maybe tomorrow. Cool. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, this has been a lot of fun. I think uh, I haven't heard from Aaron. I think he might be out of commission for the day. That's okay. But you and I might go grab some drinks or something. Yeah, totally. Uh, yeah. So if you're, if you're here, <laughs> come find us. <laughs> yeah, if you if you happen to be around, come find us. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much, everybody. This has been so fun. I'm glad we got to do a stream with John and I together. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, if... Oh, more porn bots. Oh, Let's hey, hey porn, porn bots. bots. For us. We shouldn't have called this a smashing video. I know. It was our fault. Uh, but yeah, if you, uh, you know, if you like seeing us do stuff together, look forward to next June because E3 is <laughs> yeah. supposed to be coming Hell back. Yeah. And there's no way we're not going to have everyone together uh, if everyone wants to be there. So... Yeah. Uh, we'll make sure to do something really fun then, and I might, maybe I'll see you at Gamescom if I end up going. Maybe. maybe you'll maybe. be there. 
And, uh, yeah, thank you so much, everybody. Um, one more time, we do have a Patreon. If you want to check that out, it's patreon.com slash gvgaming. We have a bunch of tiers you can support us at. Um, but uh, even if you can't do that, please just like and subscribe. We're like 1,500 subscribers away from so close. 100K. So, We're so close. close. So thank you so much, everybody. Bye, everyone. You.